Happy New Year! Penis. <laughs> I hope that doesn't count as a swear, you guys. <laughs> All right. Welcome, uh, fellow castigators, to Gas Mask Gaming. We got some cool yep. things to talk about today. It's going to be excellent. So, first off, uh, you know how last time we were talking about how uh, the court system when it comes to divorce, favors the woman. Yes. And how even if she was in the wrong, she still like gets a decent amount out of it. Awful. Right. Yep. Well, a man in Ecuador has decided to become, uh, whoa. He's Ooh. invisible. Ah! Ah! I tried. Has become Ecuadorians, man. Transgender, so that he can get custody of his kids. No! <laughs> <laughs> is... you trying to find like some loopholes. Yeah, it's pretty pretty hilarious. How's that panning out? Is that just like? An ongoing story. Um, yeah, it's it's still ongoing, so we're not sure if, uh, if it's working, if it will work. Life hacks. Yeah, that sort of thing. Um, and yeah, so the the what he's telling the journalists are, uh, you know, it has nothing to do with my sexuality. It has nothing to do with my gender, but he's saying, I identify as a mother. I've always wanted to be a mother. <laughs> I am mother and everything. I am the maternal instincts. Because, uh, um, yeah, their, 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 their system sees fathers as, like, pretty much exclusively providers. And while that's good, because yes, the father should be the provider, kind of base. they have more functions than that, right? Yeah. So it, it's kind of like, well, that's right, but it's also still not not quite where it should be. Like Andrew Tate. What? I said it's like Andrew Tate. What, what about like, him? Yeah, he's kind of right. You're but <laughs> the killer. Not really. Not quite where he should be, yeah. yeah. Kind of a pimp. <laughs> kind uh, of. You no, know, he is. Yeah. Kind of, I, kind of is predatory against uh, uh, a lot of uh, beta males, basically sapping their money away yeah. by running mm -hmm. a like whorehouse. A, uh, modern pimp? Yeah, he's. This day and age is pimp. But he says correct stuff sometimes, so I'm like, oh, yeah. Yeah, there are All times right. when I've agreed with him, but I think... Like the overall I, thing. I think he's like... My problem is he's just too much of an extremist. Like, he's, he, he has never yeah. even-handed or fair about anything. No, not at all. Like, he's very far over on every issue. Yeah, yeah, plus I, he converted to Islam, so... Yeah, I, oh, yeah, I, I well. do not agree with Islam or his choice, and that's all I can say, because I don't want to get taken off of YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's... Yeah. I mean, that makes sense. I... It, yeah, it makes sense that Andrew Tate would join the religion <laughs> where women and children are property. Yeah... I don't think she could save that person. Women it's are true. just like livestock. So it, it's kind of very it reflective out. of his opinions. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> are you gonna save that person, Jensen? Uh, the, no, no. Somebody else did. Oh. Save him. What are we? Are we gonna do the other one in the house? Might as well. Get it while we can. Never fix this. Well, Escape that weapon. Oh shit, he's behind us. No! No, he's body blocking me! Let's let's hope that Ecuadorian uh, 
finds a good resolution and his kids aren't sh too confused. Yeah, I, I hope so. I hope it. Damn it. Turns out well for everyone. He 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 claims that the uh, that the mother is abusive, but he can't prove it. So if that's true, I I hope it works out for him. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. It's kind of weird. Divorces are weird. Yeah, it, it's definitely something that should be more vehemently avoided in our society. Like we're we're yeah. too. It's to be like the last resort type of thing. Ah, on the table oh. Wait, oh, I disagree with you. Alright, we're getting a divorce. <laughs> like, yeah, people... Maybe. People are not... Uh, dating or marrying carefully. And, you know. Nope. No prudence, no nothing. The responsibility. Yeah, exactly. They're the the types of people where um, yeah, they're doing too many too many flings, too many one night stands. Oh, that one's been done. And don't quite connect and or respect other people the way that they should. Yeah. Because right. they're they're too used to human shopping. Instead of being attached to one person to a healthy extent. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Human shopping. Human shopping. Human shopping. Ah, he found me. In my local Walmart. Pick up some humans. Yeah, I need uh, some more of those. Some more fat oh! women. I need a few more humans. Oh, hello, sorry. You son of a bitch. Ah! Uh, hey. So, this isn't a political thing, but do, do you guys remember Nicolas Cage's character in Spider-Verse? Uh, yeah, is the noir Spider-Man? Yes, noir Spider-Man? He is not going uh, to be yeah. He is not going to be in the sequel. Why? Why is this possible? Isn't that whack? Wait, our other- wait, but our other- people from the previous movie is going to be in the next one. Um, I, well, we don't know because they don't actually have a cast list. The only reason we know Nicolas Cage is not going to be in it is because he expli explicitly said that he had not been called about it. Well, I mean, I mean, I guess the if they're doing a second movie of Into the Spider-Verse, then I guess they're still going to be Messing around with the multiverse, presumably. Yeah, I I assume that I assume there will be new characters. Wow, why don't I just do that to myself? Thank you, Jenny. Um, but it, it it just seems weird, you know. Like, it seems like he'd be one of those fan favorite characters that people would expect yeah. to be in it. Maybe he charged too much for the first one. I doubt it. No. Because, I mean, Sony's doing pretty well, and Sony's paying for it. So I... I mean, you know, sometimes actors are like, man, I'm worth, like, ten times this, and then they're yeah, like, I know. I'm not doing it for that money. And then... I, I don't think Nicolas Cage is one of those. He, he's, he still does a lot of pretty small movies. Like, he's kind yeah. of known for being oh, like yeah, you're weird right. indie sure. stuff. Well, that's sad, but, I mean... I'm dead. 
Yeah. Pretty I'm, much. I'm not too conflicted over it. <laughs> yeah. He needs a spin off. No, no, no. What needs to happen is the next movie needs to be all about Nicolas Cage and uh, the noir Spider Man. Now that. That'd be epic. Oh, there I go. It's uh, been fun. But I'm dead. Uh, You'll beat. What can you know? Dude, it won't let me heal her. Am I cutting in and out, boys? Like, nope. Or... Uh, nah, nah, you're good. Oh, did you hear the noir thing? Yes. Yeah. So they need to do a spin-off. <laughs> yeah, I think that would be cool. I think so, yeah. Uh... In other pop culture news, Wednesday got a season to green light. Wednesday? I don't know what that is. I'm not really surprised by that. Man, don't you watch my channel. I've... I've heard of it, but I have no idea what it's about. Wednesday, here is his channel. It's, it's, it's about Wednesday. Yeah, dude, I don't even know you. Like, what happened? Who are you? Bruh. It's a show about Wednesday Adams. Wednesday. From the Adams family. Oh, the Adams family. I, and it was, uh. Did they butcher it? Like they do every IP? Yeah. Yes, they did. Yep, that's they nice. sure did. Um, As if there was any doubt. Yeah, lots of like. Well, actually, I gave them the benefit of the doubt because Tim Burton's involvement. <laughs> yeah, there's there was lots of uh, character assassinations. Like, they chose two, uh, really, really uncharismatic actors to play the parents, Gomez and Morticia. Well, and I mean, like, from what I remember, the, the Adam family parents were, like, very, very dry. But, I mean, it's not like they didn't have characters to sing. I thought I showed they you the movies, didn't I? They weren't like exaggerative from what I've gathered. But I don't know. I haven't watched too much of them. I I thought I, I don't did. Think he... Was I wrong? D did I not show you that? I think you are wrong. Okay, never mind. I, I I need you to do that. No, no. In the in the right hands, they're really great characters. Oh, I had to. Get are down they like? Hook, don't I? Are they like externally just like really? Powerful or something like bipolar. I thought they really internalize like British people. No. You know what I mean? No. Oh. That's it's funny though. That's a funny thought. Okay. okay. So. so got the wrong impression from them, I guess. In other news. <laughs> Wait. Let me spectate here. Uh, other news. The oh no, there's a big um, math conference. It's like the bi like one of the biggest in, in in the world joining of mathematicians. It's called the Joint Mathematics Meeting. If you want to look it up, I believe I do have a link to it though in the description. Um, but they have, they have a new, um, it was one of their panels, I guess, or lectures, would be more precise. Here's the title of it. It's called Undergraduate Mathematics Education as a White, Cis-Hetero Patriarchal Space and Opportunities for Disruption to Advance Queer and Color Justice. That. Did you get all that? That is... Wait, so it's a... I'm a little confused. So it's a math conference? Or a math, like... 
Yes, for like teachers of math, uh, writers of math books, scientists. And, you know, they're yeah, usually supposed to talk about advances in, you know, math, I guess. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, but yeah, I, the I, education system definitely has no, uh, weird, crazy agendas. <laughs> oh, no, related to no, their no, subjects. Don't. Yeah, definitely don't. What are you thinking? <laughs> so, our education system is perfect in every way, don't you know, Micah? And if you yes, think any other way, you're a bigot. It is above reproach. So I, I, I think, I think the panels the... are like just creating random titles. They're like, you know what? We're gonna shove about five different buzzwords in here. Yeah, no, I Make agree. Look and they made cool. up a new word, cis hetero. Gosh, cis hetero, cis isn't that fun? Hetero. It's a good one. Isn't cis where you're like straight or something? Or is yeah. that white? I think so. I think it's no, 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 no. Dude, that's yeah. that's where you're like. That's yeah, cis was your straight. I thought it was your white because it says cis hetero. That would be redundant, wouldn't it? Because hetero makes yeah. you straight. Hetero. Oh. Dude, I got no clue. This is white. I, I How do you look you. this this nomenclature up? It's very confusing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. Okay. So they're gonna be talking about very important stuff at that uh, conference. Yeah. Me. So they're okay. talking about how Allegedly. they can be <laughs> inclusive in math in in math classes, basically. And and their argument is that oh, if there's a word problem. And, you know, there's someone buying apples, renting a tuxedo, what have you. Then that needs to explicitly include some sort of a queer factor. Because apparently they are so pathetic that they need to be included in ridiculous math problems. They need to feel seen. Yeah, math has enough problems. We don't need another one. <laughs> More than enough problems. So true. And it's just so, I don't know, fragile, right? Um, and several Twitter users have, have like taken this really far by sharing uh, the paper that was written about this by the speaker, whoever it was, the math guy or girl or whatever. Um, it, and saying, well, you know, since there's no objective truth, and yes, that's how they started. Since there's no objective truth, you know, we shouldn't, you know, use math around, you know, non-binary people because it, 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 it might offend them. And because math has absolutes, it is inherently offensive to the idea that there is no objective truth and there's only your own truth. And this is some authority figure in the the math world. Yeah. Uh yeah. I mean they they were lecturing at the biggest math meetup in the world. So yes, I I I would say so probably. Uh, <laughs> I don't know that for a fact. I don't know what their title is. I just, I, I feel like you're working against your own interest a little bit. Like, <laughs> you need to calm down. Yeah, yeah. dial it back a little bit. Heads the, yeah. Like, the first thing you need to know about absolute mathematical truth is that it's all incorrect and everything is subjective. So you can do whatever you want, and math is stupid. Yeah. It's not it, inclusive uh, enough. <laughs> it reminds me of... Uh, George Orwell's 1984, where there's a Micah, you a, need to watch that. A character he he knows he the main character he knows about the censoring because he's part of it. It's part of his job, but he's also like mm -hmm. a victim of it. So he's he's trying to figure out you know how to break the system, how to get around it. You know, he yeah. falls in love with a girl. He's trying to figure out how to go into hiding with her. All this stuff, and. One of the things he writes in his journal is, you know, that I have freedom as long as I have the freedom to say two plus two equals four. 
So it's kind of funny. These people literally want to take away that simple freedom. <laughs> like these freaking psychopaths. I don't think it'll happen. Say there's absolute truth. We, we absolutely need math, but, you know, it's it's just one of those things where it's like, wow. Again? Everything is inverted. I don't know. Very funny. Um, it's very discombobulating. Oh, gosh. oh that, I have to. I, I have to look up one of the things that we're talking about next. Damn, that's bad. Okay, because I I wanted to quote from the article. Here, let me let me let me get it. So this is this is kind of a fun one. This is really interesting. Are you familiar with what an onsen is? Nope. Idea. Okay. So, an onsen is. I have never done this map before. Uber. Oh, I've done this one with Killer. I've never done it as Survivor. Oh yeah, yeah. Pinhead's yeah, really killing. good at it. Uh, anyway, um, an onsen is a Japanese bathhouse. Uh. So, basically, there's all these uh, tubs lined up, or if um, in certain areas it'll be like a hot spring, kind of like they do in icing and such. Yeah. And you know, and everybody there is 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 naked, naked. and they yeah, you were way ahead of me. Nice, I'm proud of you. Um, and all getting in these tubs and stuff, and it's it's you know a public place. not looking at each other because they're naked. Game. And I saw um, this. There's a YouTuber called Oh gosh, what's he called? Intrigue. Uh, I'm forgetting it, but it's it's like something abroad or whatever. He's an English guy who lives in Japan. He's been YouTubing about it for like almost a minute. Uh, He's been YouTubing is specifically about public bathhouses. No, living in Japan. <laughs> but the own sensor part of it. I was say it's a bit obsessive. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Okay. So I do wanna say real quick, he's kind of a badass. He recently did chess boxing. Do you know chess boxing? No. No. It's where you box, you, you beat each other up, and then, you know, when someone gets a certain amount of, of, of points or, you know, whatever it is with boxing, then you sit down and you do chess. Uh, what? Okay. So, okay. You, so, you, so you punch each other in the face, you sit down, you do a chess match, punch each other some more, <laughs> then a little more chess. And I'm, it, it, and I mean, it's, it's there's something, there's just something incredibly manly about it. I mean, I'm interested actually. <laughs> that sounds really cool. Because um, like, it, you know, it isn't just like a, you know, a, a typical hoorah man thing where it's just violence, but like, there's also. A, Um, brain. Yes, uh, a test of mental acuity as well. Mm -hmm. And so I, 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 I think that's cool because, like, it, it just, you know, like, to to be a proper man, you kind of have to have both, right? Yeah. So it's cool to have a game where. I mean, it's not really one game. I mean, it's more like two games. You're playing back to back. But yeah, yeah. No, I, mean, I get it. Okay, so he did that. So he's a man. So yeah, he's, he's a, a man. He's a oh, man. I I just remembered his name. It's Chris Broad. It's Chris Broad. Chris, Chris Broad. So so his his. 
his um so his YouTube name is is like a is like a pun so it's you know instead of abroad in Japan it's a broad in Japan right mm. clever, clever. clever anyway, boy anyway he, he was talking about how he went to an onsen with a bunch of guy friends of his and uh, oh, that's pretty gay yeah and, and how it was really weird and how they'll like he was trying to claim that it was like a bonding experience, making fun of each other's pubes and stuff. And apparently if you like manscape in, J in Japan, you'll get teased all out for it. But anyway, I I I'm just saying like it's, I'm just expressing how public it is and how it's very... Unmodest. It's, it's more normal there, even though that's, you know... Def definitely a weird thing that I would never want to try. Cultural norms. Uh. <laughs> uh, I've been running for so long. Jensen, get to a door. Hey, I was right by a door. Yeah, I. I don't think I would ever do that. That's kind of. That's kind of oh, weird. Draw him away from me. Draw him away from me, quick. I've been hit once. Freaking weird, dude. Oh, uh. <clears throat> I do not know where we are. <laughs> It's kind of funny because a lot of people. Um, I went up the door. A lot of people will say like, you know, oh, it's just their culture. You know, it's it's just how they live their life, and it's just as just as valid as our culture, like the north, you know, the western, right, Christian values that we have. I'm, I'm like, nah, is it though? No, is they it? they have a lot of. Uh... I mean, it's normal like to a weird, have like, sex with 13-year-olds over there, so, like, is it really Yeah, they have a lot of sex-related problems in Japan, so I, I wouldn't... But I, I, I'm just... It's just culturally nor normal, like... I'm not saying it's normal, I'm just saying they're used to it, I guess is what I was trying to get. Not that I... Yeah, I, I definitely but, think it's weird. Only with that, yeah. maybe. Like, but don't people leave argue, me. like, you know, subject... Everything is subjective, so every culture is valid, and none should be looked down upon, Are I'm you? like... Right. I don't. I don't think you're retarded. A little bit. Because uh, yeah, that that stuff happens. But I mean, that's that's a lot less. Uh. You know. What? Bad. Than some of the other cultural norms <laughs> that happen go. around the world. But yeah. Ooh. Anyhow, so a transgender who was um, biological man, a man went into a female onsen. And I'm gonna read. I'm gonna read some of. And um, he posted quite a bit about it, so I'm gonna. I'm, I'm going to read off some of the things. He's also, he's, uh, he's a pretty popular YouTuber. Um, he has, he's obsessed with airsoft guns, which he likes to but show the tr off. The trend? Yeah. Yeah. The trans? Yeah, he had a vlog, he, he had a vlog called, What Happened After a Former Man Took Off His Clothes and Entered the Women's Bath? Is the rough translation. Oh, so it was like a, uh. A social test, social experiment, as they say. Yes, but it's gonna get creepy. All right, this this is gonna be funny. So he went in, so he went in, just testing it out, being like, you know, I'm not actually a woman, but I'm gonna test it out. No, 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 no. That, he's trans. Is that what it is? No, he is trans. Oh, oh, so he's doing this like for real. He's 
Yeah, for real. For real. Trying to go in there. Okay. Okay. So. I you were... okay. Anyway, he says he's uh. So here we go. Here we go. He oh, says. Thanks to my grandmother, my attention was relieved. As she suggested, I go to the public bath naked, but with a towel. Because he's only got boobs. He doesn't have the the under bits done, right? Uh-huh. And so, while doing delusions that don't care, blah, 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 entered the bathtub. Thanks to that, the skin becomes smooth and moist. I've seen mountains of tits. Hmm. Nice boobs, modest boobs. And then there's a weird translation here. Sorry boobs, I guess? Sorry. I saw a lot of women's breasts. Saggy. I am relieved that it seemed to work. And he he said that he was oh, in boob oh, heaven. He called them. Lost him. We lost him. I'm sorry. Oh, oh he's and back. He said it, it was really a 360 degree world full of tits and tight peach like buttocks. Isn't that fun? Is is he on? Yeah, he's back. He's back. Okay. You're back, right, Micah? Hello? Yep, you're back. You're good. You lost two for a minute. <laughs> anyway. And so. You're cutting all, now. All, I was like, what the heck? All his tweets are just. Is just this this rambling where he refers to boobs as either marshmallows or peaches or man. So so basically, it was a creepy thing. He went and just he went just to sit in the bath and and ogle and. He's basically playing he Among Us. That's what you're telling me. <laughs> He's playing Among Us. Yeah. Right. And. uh... You know, it's. Did he get it, caught? Is he still doing this? Like, well, I, I mean, so many he questions made this now. vlog, so he definitely admitted it publicly. Um, but is he walking around with a towel pointed out? <laughs> That's my... Well, I I assume he did his ogling while he was in the tub and. Mm. Waiting on you. Yeah, I know. I know. Oh, okay. I was re I was reading off the article. Um, oh, oh, okay. So. The reason I bring this up, usually this would just be like nonsense news, because usually someone doing this, especially in a place like Japan, would just be getting arrested. But as I said, really popular YouTuber, and this is a guy who's who's trying to 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 tell people that oh, you know, if you become a woman, you will she have can see booba. yeah, you can see boobs and you can have more fun having sex with women, allegedly, allegedly. And, uh, and I think Japanese are going to fall for that, for what I know of their culture. So they have a big, big problem with the worth eth work ethic. Um, yeah. You know, basically, there's, there's a lot of shame, uh, you know, your shit. You you do get vacation time, but you're shamed by everyone if you take it, because you know the idea is that someone else has to take your workload. You know, like it's common that you have to bring ev back presents from your vacation for everyone else. So, like people just don't vacation. Uh, there's pressure to go drinking with with your boss and coworkers afterwards. So people aren't, you know, men aren't going home to their families like they should. Which, That's odd. And it's making, like, the depression skyrocket, the suicide rate skyrocket, the divorce rate skyrocket. And that is why now they're having these pop this population issue and not enough Japanese people having sex because they have a load of males who are just not bothering with relationships. Uh, right. And are just these, you know... 
working stiffs. The drones. And, of course, this has been going on for quite, quite a while, probably like the last decade or so, getting worse and worse. So that's not news, but but it's 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 now today, along with you know feminism and the woke stuff, it's it's turning into this um, this culture of beta males, basically. Yeah. You know these gross guys who are obsessed with their you know creepy little girl anime stuff and. Yeah. Um, well, it's it's crap. very um. It's very ironic because they're very hypersexualized, but they have like no sex. <laughs> Right, <laughs> right. It's 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 ironic. It's a lot of angst. It's it's this societal angst, and it's like, and in Japan, uh, Japan has tons of problems like this that just yeah don't ever get fixed because they are so freaking homogenous. Right. You know, like. It, it's like the place is, is covered in gasoline and we just need someone to go in there and throw the first match, right? <laughs> they need to be sh uh, shaken up a little bit. Um, you know, because there's lots of, lots of other stuff like... Like keeping to yourself is a big thing. And it's it's gotten to the point where there's like... Where society, the the Japanese society, like pressures you into being an introvert. Yeah. And you know, according to you know, Chris Broad and and other YouTubers, it can be like super isolating because people won't you know look you in the eye or talk to you or. Yeah, that's a <laughs> that's a lot of the stuff. Asian cultures. They're very um. Like anti, external social interaction unless it's like your family yeah and it's hard to date and get to know people it's, if you're gonna be like that yeah it's been like that for ever <laughs> but it's gotten yeah. inc increasingly worse especially in the digital age and right how uh oh what's it called uh manufacturing or whatever it's called the uh, is it called uh, Re something revolution Industrial but, revolution, is that what you're looking for? Actual yeah, industrial... No, <laughs> well, well, yeah, that too, but... Yeah. Industrial revolution has also exponentially increased a lot of that. And the Western uh, culture kind of... Kind of mm. seeped over to them. And so they got... <laughs> they got a mixture of, like, everything that's bad about... The Western culture and the Asian... He's in the house. Culture. So. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, yet again, it's just, it's, it's one of those problems that, that just is, you know, in this vicious cycle, like, there aren't enough people, you know, turning against that sort of thing for it to ever, for it to ever change. Yeah, it's definitely accelerating. You know, and it's, it's, it's concerning. It's like a lot of culture problems where it's not like inherently bad but is just gone too far you know yeah they took it to a little bit of an extreme just a little because there you know there are, are things that are you know good and make a country and a people unique but if you go kind of nuts about it yeah, there, there are a lot of things like that, ones. you know. Yeah. If, even in in America, you know. Oh, yeah, for sure. Where where people people take their freedoms for granted so much, like they're asking for all kinds of freedoms that are ridiculous, like all these mm -hmm. strange sexual freedoms. You know. Yeah. They, they, they're trying to insist on right to sex and all this stuff, but that's like really, I mean, that's really rapey, you know, like, I don't, I don't like that at all, you know, well, they're, they're trying to legalize I, sex work. Uh, and, I didn't mean to do that. What are you Sorry. doing? I, I, yeah, I hit the wrong button. So. You know, because they think, the oh, wow. you know, there's, you know, all these dudes not, not doing it and they should have right to, you know. 
pay pay someone to do it, and it was like, man. Yeah, what we need in this world is, wanna... more, <laughs> is more cucks, right? We need more objectification, more transactional behavior only. No emotion. No love behind anything. Oh, that person's getting chased. One of us needs to save that guy. Who's it gonna be? I'll go. Okay. Yeah, why well, I hate in the US they say, you know, I want the right to this, I want the right to that, and they don't even know what a right is. Like, shut up. You don't you don't understand. There's privileges that the government can give you, but there's only a f probably less than a handful of, of rights that are like, you know, inherent to yeah, inalienable a rights. human, individual human. And where do you think those rights come from? So right. You need to answer those things before you can even ask for a right to internet, a right to uh, food and water, a right to sex, a right to blah blah blah. It's like, dude, shut up. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. It's just a bunch of privileged, <laughs> privileged <laughs> naive nonsense. people. Yeah, naivety. Yeah. They, they're never. Uh... They're never interested in, you know, policy or the way our government works or anything until they want something weird. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. When they want something, they'll be like, you know, they'll fight for it, but they're very selfish. Uh, dude. And Dead by Daylight's like not working. Did did you manage to transfer? Yeah, I did. It it didn't didn't do it. What does it, it say that the problem is? It says like initialization failed. Uh, like save data didn't save properly. Restart your game, and I've already done like a million restarts and. Changed my internet. My internet's not the problem. I don't know. I don't know what the heck's going on. So uh, if you guys want to play, uh, whatever it's called, don't starve. Oh, yeah, okay. Get a chance. Um. After after this match, we'll have Jensen download it. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna switch over to my computer then. It'll be like uh, 30 seconds. Someone gonna help me? Um, I, I bet he went quiet. Oh, yep. he's gone. It's because he's transferring to his computer. So, we'll just have a little space here, folks, where we don't talk about anything. And we'll just. But we can't. What, did you have anything? Am I gonna no. hate? Oh, me, am I? Me, 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 me. You might. That's your shit. I what? I said you might. Can you hear me? I'm inside the building you're in front of, by the way. Yep, we can hear you. Okay, good. Good, good. How's it get? Uh, well, the fan base is gay, and it won't let me play the game, so, That's like... true. No. Why do you think that is, Micah? Micah, don't call yourself gay. <laughs> uh, I... If I had to shoot... If I had to shoot in the dark, I'd say it's masochistic. Everybody... <laughs> they love to be dominated. So... What? He well, plays a survivor and you get hunted down and smacked around, thrown on a hook. 
I'll, I'll, I'll give you that, sure. Sure. I don't think so, but all right. You know, it's kind of like um, that thing like back when it came out, like the LGBT community was using like Pennywise a lot. You know, they were like like lots of Pennywise paraphernalia. Yeah. I I don't understand that either. He eats children. I mean... Maybe it's a crossover with, like, the Hot Topic people. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta be. I'm dead. Shit. Yeah, I don't... I don't really know... Well, this is, I, this is I don't, really bad. So I don't know if there's a majority of people who play Dead by Daylight that are, like, LGBTQ, but I know that, like... All the social media posts, all, a lot of in-game stuff, um, a lot of like lore and little trinkets and stuff, they're all gay and BLM and stuff, so it's like, I don't know. I call weird. most of the in-game stuff pandering, though. Yeah, it is pandering, but like... Well, the thing is, that the, uh, those they people up, will so. buy the gay stuff that's in-game. In they will. Every time. Yeah. Uh, they know their audience. <laughs> like the whole, well, it's the whole Pride Month thing. I've seen like them, the companies putting like the, the gay flag on their products, and then people yeah. post things saying, "Oh man, this company loves me because they put the Pride flag on it." It's like, no, they don't. They just want your money. <laughs> it works. I want money. And it, it, it's proven to work. It's funny. That's, that's all it is. They just love your money. They don't love you because you're gay. It is disingenuous. Yeah, no. It's just they'll, they'll make you, they'll milk you for your money because they know that you're kind of gullible. Yeah, no, sure. no company loves anyone. No. I, I love that idea of corporate goodwill. Doesn't exist. As if such a large group of people could ever, you know. Uh. uh. Like we're gonna unite <laughs> and save yeah the, save the, the uh, world. The big the big the big corporations they yeah it it's mostly like pandering. They don't really have a genuine support for much of anything. I mean they sell they a lot of them like sell their soul to China, so they don't really have any values. Yeah. That I wanna support. He went into the house that you're in. Yeah. I know. Except for Chick Fil A, all right. That's the one exception. Oh, he's gonna find me. Yep. Chick fil A is pretty epic. Of course, some of the fast food chains are pretty based on their, uh, their Twitter. So, yeah. I don't know. Indeed. Chick fil A's the best. <laughs> so, new thing. Uh, so, I, I told you we were gonna talk about this earlier. But, um,. But we've actually got a... Oh, what do you call it? Um... Boy. Boy. It's like a... Boy. But... The thing? It's like, you know, the thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. You a know, census. Thing, it's like a census, right? Yeah. They took a poll, yeah, they took a census, they did something like that. Some... In England and Wales, to see the uh, percentage of of gay people, basically, All right? So, get ready for this. This is gonna be really interesting. I'm wait. Why can't I hear you? I don't know. Why can't you hear me? I did not mess up. What did I do? Well. Man, the suspense is really gonna kill the audience. I should have tried to escape off the hook. Damn it! This person's the worst. They're just waiting it out. I'll hear you now. Yeah, they are. I'm, I'm watching them. Okay, you can hear me now. That was really weird. Yeah. Okay, so 
Um, give me a second. I'm, I'm having really difficult skill checks right now. So I'm trying to delay my death to annoy those other players. Because that's what they deserve. Okay. So, Wales in England. You are familiar. You are familiar with the countries, yes. Uh, I know England a lot more than I know Wales. Okay, Wales is. Do the they have Wales and Wales? No, Wales is the lower bit. Okay. Okay. England's the middle bit. Scotland's the top. Ireland's the island to the left. Oh, okay. Okay. So, 98.5%, 98.5% of England and Wales, so a little more than half the UK, are straight. Yeah. 98.5%. I mean, makes sense. I mean, that's... That's pretty much, you know, reflected around the world. Like, you know I mean? oh, she tanked him. Uh, now they're all getting raped by Albanians. I, I, I mean, well, okay, let's. Yeah, we, we'll definitely be talking about those. Sorry, I, I meant to say their children are being. I raped definitely by want to Albanians. talk about uh, immigrant crime statistics, but later, later. So, what was I anyway, this is this is hilarious because you know the the English government seems so determined to 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 pander to them, right? They put loads mm -hmm. loads of money into all these programs. They have these pride events where you know they send the police to to dance and. Uh, generally be unintimidating and you know they do all these desperate acts of, of goodwill and you know uh, most of these pride events get really violent um, <laughs> well that's kind of odd um, especially between lesbians and transgenders because, okay no that actually makes sense yeah those those two groups do not get along at all that's I mean we could I, I really could have gone into that for a long time. That's that's all another story. And you know, every, everyone's reporting on this. Like, well, you know, obviously the the LGBT community, you know, is is not loving and all inclusive and, and, and tolerant. If they're all the violent people, they're right? Fighting each other in the streets. And they're 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 huge huge events. Like, you know, where where. You know, people, the type of crowds where people get crushed and die, right? So a good percentage of the people from these communities do go to these events. And everyone's yeah. like, oh, well, you know, it, it's just this, you know, small percentage of, you know, a very large group of people who are violent and, and rude to people who even look at them funny. You know, and they're not the people who are abusive on the internet or, you know, they're not woke. That's not true. But then we see here what a small percentage they actually are. And you're kind of like, hmm. <laughs> uh, the math is not mathing, as they say. So it's, so it's really funny. I tried to look up the U.S. Uh, to see what the ratio is in the U.S. And it has not been done in a long time. I don't want to be, you know, don't want to throw around, cons you know, conspiracy theories, but I, I think there's a reason for that. I feel like that's on purpose. You know, because it yeah, hasn't... I it completely has, believe that. It hasn't happened since, like, 2017. Oh, I completely believe that it's like that's, on purpose. That's pretty suspicious, especially since they're so big on it. Pretty um, sus. Jensen, I thought you were downloading Dead. I'm sus. Don't starve. Oh. Uh.
right? So you're saying the U.S. hasn't reported on the gay population? Correct. Is that what you're saying? And the right. only thing you get is a site. It's and, downloading. And it's it's all like estimates, and everybody, everybody that writes an article about it, cites this source. That's just an estimate. And <laughs> and this source is like. I can't remember what it exactly it is they do, but they have an agenda, basically. Yeah. Like, there isn't someone doing it for, like, you know, science or or statistics or whatever, like, you know. And and so their estimation is, oh, you know, it could be, you know, as, as big as, you know, 10 to 15 percent. And it's like, no. Heck, 15 percent, bro? You know, it's downloading. Yeah. Last time we checked, it was like last time it was done, it was like five percent, and they think it's increased that much. I mean, I'm sure it's increased quite a bit, but that much, I don't think so. I wouldn't. <laughs> That's odd. You know that they haven't done any surveys or anything, or whatever they do. Right, Jensen, are you gonna do it? It's downloading. How is it downloading right if you're in game? My computer's multitasking. But we're on Steam. Yeah? It doesn't let you do that. Yes, it does. What? Since It's when? doing it right Since now. When? How long is it going to take? <laughs> Since when? Uh, Five minutes. So we got time for a match. All right. All right, fine. Um, so they have, like, concrete statistics in, uh, what'd you say, uh, Wales? Yes, England and Wales. Their population is pretty small, right? Um, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's a few. How many millions is there? It's it's a few billion. What? Really? It's just a f wait, no, sorry. No, I think it's like one billion. One it's, billion? It's what it is. Yeah, because they have like. It, it's you know what? Let me just look it up. I'm I'm just gonna look. You it mean up. like? You mean like all of the? I'm not. Of, uh, I'm not Europe. going to speculate because I'm starting to sound. Well, I know China is like uh, China's like a billion or two, right? Oh yeah, they're they're way above that. Yeah. England. Well, I was thinking of how many millions of people are in London alone, and I think my math was really screwing with my statement, so I'm just looking it up now. Mm. Um, How do you do the Discord overlay, man? This okay, is, like, annoying. So, the combined... We are using Discord. No, the overlay. So, like, I want to see you guys pop up when you talk, but I, I can't seem to figure out how oh. to do that. I'm using that. I can see you guys. I went to game overlay. I went and I enabled in-game overlay, and then I set toggle overlay lock to a button or keyboard, uh, a key. Oh, and it's not working. Well, I, I, I couldn't tell you why. Okay, so let me just do the math. Quick maths. The last census day was March twenty twenty one. So this is not <gasps> this is not a, a accounting for illegal immigrants, right? <laughs> or legal immigrants, as I guess they are now. The illegals. Five nine seven. Since they have a right to housing or something like that. That's true. Yeah. That now they're down. They're illegal. Plus, no, there was like a government thing where they were trying to push. That they have like a right to housing and this and that and we oh, have wait, what? Stuff, right? Okay, so the combined population of Eng of England and Wales is is sixty two million. So I think I think I was thinking million? Yeah, I was thinking of UK as a whole. So yeah, that's sixty uh. sixty two million. Okay. Okay, that seems more reasonable. So 62 million times 0. 0.15. 
62. We're loading in, you do the math. I'd... Times. We did 15%. Say fifteen percent. No, it's gonna be. To fifteen percent, it are gay. No. Is that what you said? No. Cause, hold on. Where's my statistic? Ninety-eight point five are straight. Oh, ninety-eight point five. So, so one point five. Yeah, it's literally one point five. One point five. So that's zero one five. And, and there is 930,000 homosexuals in Wales in uh, Britain. Yeah, that's that's why I'm saying, you know, that's why I'm guessing, even though it sounds ridiculous, that, you know, if you've got, you know, um, literally, you know, thousands and thousands of people going through this these pride events like the majority is there right yeah uh, are you calling homosexuals violent are you going on record for that yeah i was trying not to say it directly are you saying they're unstable hey, hey, okay, wait 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 certain ones certain individuals there certain you go certain individuals 15% of the population in the U.S. commit 50% of the violent crimes. Invisible guy. Great. Oh, it's this overlay off. How do I switch that on? How's that? <laughs> Edit? No. What? Why? But why? But why? <laughs> That's making the killer so mad. Full screen, yes. I can't remember what I was talking about. <laughs> I don't, I don't know exactly what your point was, but it is interesting to know that. Oh, no, I, I, I was just, my point was, um, you know, even though England is, is suffering from, you know, suffering financially from Brexit and a lot of other stupid decisions, and yes, I'm going on record saying Brexit was a stupid decision, don't at me. Whoa, whoa, um, whoa, whoa, whoa. And, and yet, they're doing all this gay funding and stuff. And gay funding for only. They're trying to. 1.5% yeah, of their population? Yeah, exactly. You know, and they're trying to have. They're, they're trying to make them more inclusive, right? They're, they're trying to hire, put specifically gay people in government. Specifically this and that, and, it, and it's, but it's like, man, you know, if you're, if your percentage of gays is this small, how, what's the percentage of them that are actually politicians? <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, what do you, what do you want? What do you want? And, you know, they want everybody to be gay. And they're trying to put in these requirements. You know, these diversity requirements, like, oh, you have to have one of these and one of these. And it's like, okay, uh -huh. but but why why do the minority minorities have to be represented? I mean, sure, they're a part of your population and you should, you know, um, uh, you know, you should be paying attention to them and their needs or whatever, but... I'll make it your top priority. But yeah, why are... Oh, shoot. Yeah, this why would... kind of dumb. I don't know, I... Why would the minority need 
be so important. Yeah. I don't think any of them have any direction like to do anything. So they're trying to they're trying to go towards the one thing that is popular now and that's inclusivity and uh, representation and all this like stupid stuff that doesn't even it doesn't even mean anything at the end of the day. It's like congratulations. You have another homosexual in your government. That's that's right. Yeah, like why can't we see people as people? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I, th I think it, it's like tri it's like tribalism in the 21st yeah. century. It's I, I think the the cataract catarag Oh my god. Cataract. The cataracts in my eye. <laughs> oh, the uh, the categorizing, you know, of grouping people as minorities is is ridiculous. Especially when it comes to sexuality, when that's that's such a small part of their lives, or at least it should be, right? Yeah. Hey, you sound like the Japanese. <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, that's not what I mean. Um, <laughs> and it's just. You know, why should that be um, the defining feature? Like, why should that be the bubble that they're in? You ran past me. When they're. Primarily yeah, a lot of other I things. Saw you. I saw you. Gosh darn it. Yeah, they're. So, you're, you're saying basically they emphasize. Yeah. One characteristic and one character char characteristic only about a well, lot I'm of dead. people today, and that's just who you're attracted to or who you identify as. And it gets to the point of, you know, judge people by their character, not the color of their skin, nor the, nor the uh, people they like to rub up against. So, <laughs> I mean, yeah, because, like, I mean, it's just stupid. They just have a false sense of what matters, the priorities of judging somebody. Right, because, like, my... You know, I saw this guy on Twitter trying to say that, like, your, your desires and therefore your sexual desires, like, dictate how you act in a, in a social group and social situations. And it's like, no, do, do you know how often my sexuality really comes up? Like, well, I'm, I'm not even sure if it would make, like, top ten of important things about me. I mean, it's kind of a funny argument because they were, act, they were, you know, like, they if were I trying were, to argue the exact opposite back in the sexual revolution. Like, the norm, normalization of homos and stuff. They're like, you know, we're just the same as you. We're not um, crazy or degenerate or whatever. We're just trying to live normal lives. And it's like, well, yeah, you sure I, are I, acting like it today. I remember back when, when gay marriage was, was legalized. They were like, oh, we just want to blend in, in into society and, you know, not be pointed out so much. Their actions and now speak it's, uh, a lot louder. Than yeah, it's... Yeah, it's being pointed out as much as possible and <laughs> treated like it's this all important thing. Dude, I cannot find yeah. the basement. Holy crap, where is it? Oh, there we go. I think I'm I think like I don't completely disagree with like judging somebody by group association, but I wouldn't put so much emphasis on like your race nor your sexuality as much as like your like your religion, lack thereof, or country, and and then you go down to like ethnicity and and uh, culture to judge somebody. But I mean, also you have to do, you have to go on the individual basis. Eventually, you can't just label them and then move away. You're like, oh, we need a gay person in office. All right, boop, got one. Doesn't matter what else he believes or anything like that. It's stupid. <laughs> Asinine managing 
<laughs> yeah, I, I agree, like... Priorities all messed You're... up. I can't get this stupid overlay to work, man. It's so sad. All this stuff like... Sexuality and, and, and junk should not be Priority. dictating like your your decisions in whatever job you're doing, unless yeah. it's specifically something related to that. If it's not, yeah. then that's pointless and stupid. And yeah, well, especially with governmental jobs, because. I mean, I could see, especially the sex thing. So, people are going to argue for and against, like, different roles for women and different roles for men and all this stuff. And I mean, I think there's just natural, inherent, inherent skills that the different sexes have. So you can tend towards one or the other, but, like, like overall, you're going to, you're going to be better at certain things than others. Um... So, I mean, I think that might be important for, like, employing somebody, but, I, th again, it shouldn't be, like, yeah, it should be the top priority. Yeah, it shouldn't be the priority. I think it should be on the list, but not, like, top of the list. Probably next to the, the race and the attractiveness to other people. But, I mean, attractiveness to other people, I... It's not, it's not too much, it doesn't affect you that much, unless you're like, a flaming homosexual that likes to, you know, go around and do stuff. <laughs> then that might affect your job, but... It's just not right. Uh, this way, one way or another. This overlay thing is... Yeah, I don't think it should be a vital person. Vital aspect of a person's being. Oh. Oh. Ah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Call me British or whatever, but it, 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 it's kind of like, like gross. I think to have that be such an important thing in your life, like you know, like it, they have it, it defines the way that you like dress, and you know, in some cases, like the way you talk, and You know that's seen as like a homophobic claim, but I I have a have a gay cousin, and once he decided he was gay, he started talking with a lisp. Okay, these things are real, you know? <laughs> and they act like that's just that's just who they are, and you know what a what a gay person does. But it's like no, you chose that. Yeah, you chose that. Yeah, and I don't know. I don't know what's with the. It's kind of weird, isn't it? There's like, well, it goes back to the stereotype thing. I mean, there's stereotypes for a reason. It, it's yeah. Some stereotypes are more true than others, but there's always a kernel of something that started that thing, that stereotype. So, right. It, it's it's guys trying to be effeminate, but they have a warped perspective. Because like women yeah. don't act like that. Women don't act like that. Uh, okay. some women do. Some. some. Okay. Some women, some do, do. That, and it's but but really most weird. do not. And so that's just like it's a very cartoonish concept of femininity. It's just like it's just like the uh, oh what are they called uh uh the dudes who dress up uh drag drag queen. It's a very e exaggerated uh expression of like what they think women are. And I mean, that's fine, I guess. Like, it's just, they they don't deny it. They're just like, yeah, this is exaggerated, like, a man's perspective on women. And I, I mean, I think that's kind of funny. But, uh, yeah, that's an example. For that. Yeah. Uh, I just got back into Dead by Daylight. 
Oh. No, I'm I'm Well, I mean I'm going into Don't Starve now. Okay. So. Okay, but I do have to go to the bed in twenty minutes, get up for work, so uh Well you can play one round, right? Yeah, I can do one round. I've never played it before, so uh, I'll just um, learn as I go. I'm gonna Yeah. Need to starve and die. Yeah, I'll figure it out, don't worry. I'll host, I guess. Okay, okay, so, uh, yes, do that. Um, I will pee while he's loading in. Uh, I'm in the game. And, or while we're getting Let's in. talk about but black people. You, no, no, no. Yeah. Tell me, no, what I want you to tell me is what you hate about the public school system. Go. Gosh, where do I start? Yeah, um, Jensen, go, do it. The of Put me on the spot. The grooming of children. Sick. Sickening. I hate the. I hate hearing these constant stories of uh, books aimed for like young kids, like kindergarten to like middle school, that like talk about masturbating and pedophilia. Yeah. It's it's disgusting, and I like I hear it way too often. Oh, why? Why? Why, people? Yeah, I mean, we allowed we allowed the like the sexual education thing to it's, to it's, exist, and then ever since then, it's kind of been like, well, I guess we'll have to teach your kids how to be crazy sexual degenerates because that's what school systems for. <laughs> yep, don't you know? That's what we gotta do. We gotta teach our kids to be <laughs> disgusting horrors. That's what I want kid to be. Don't you, Micah? No. <laughs> no! Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's, it's, it's kind of messed up. They just it went too hurts. far. Like, I mean, at a certain age, like 16 or 18, I get it. Like, teach the basics, maybe, in, in the biology class, where you know it's going to be taught. But I, that's it. That's all you need. Uh, the parents need to pick it up. Hey, 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 wait. Parents need to teach their values. Oh, it's, it's but the parents been slacking, dude. Yeah, they be slacking. Like they just the parents assume that everything, all the values and principles, will just be taught to them from the school. And it's like, no, that's not what school's for. <laughs> no, you teach them the gross sex stuff. All right, that's not the school's problem. Right, but the thing is, the they're th enthralled by it now. Like all the teachers in the schools, they're like, "Oh yeah, we'll we'll teach your kids real good, real good." Yeah, now. we'll teach your yeah, kids we, real good. Yeah, we've had a good. serious increase in gay teachers, uh, which is interesting. Concerning. I'll teach your kid a lot of things. <laughs> I'm <laughs> this game I'm gonna is be a loud. Spider. I don't know how to turn. I want to personally like tutor your kid. <laughs> Just go to your volume mixer and uh, put it down. Well, I don't have a separate for uh, game volume. It's just desktop. Yeah, yeah the game volume. Well, go well, you can do it through Windows. Well, that's strange. I have one that delineates it. How do you? How did you get in and not Jensen? I don't know. How do I invite uh, Jensen? You're friends with me on Steam, aren't you? How do I go to a Steam overlay? I can't remember. Is there a sh uh, keybind for that? Shift tab. Yeah. Shift tab. Shift. Oh. All right. I'm I, I need to invite you. Games. You're Darth Kane. Okay. Yes. All right. Did you yeah, get my invite? Yeah, just on the stream. I know. Yeah, I got. It. Uh, yeah, I had to turn the game volume way down. That was loud. I mean, they're gonna they're gonna see your gamer tag like when I play with you. So. Yeah, that's right. Oh yeah, my Steam profile oh, you're uh, uh, private anyway. Jaden, are you the Spider Man? I am. I know, yes, I am the other Spider Man. The Spider Man. Oh, I don't know why we both picked the Spider, but that that is good. It's because it is fun. We are both Spider. Wow. <laughs> there was some sort of passive bonus that you get, but I can't remember what that was. I forgot to play this game. Uh. 
Remember Nothing is I responding. I forgot how to pick, play this game as well. We'll learn as we go. Well, my game's not responding. <gasps> There's a bee! Uh, am I supposed to be able to click on stuff? Uh, I don't know, are you looking into the yes. game or something? I'm in a lobby and there's a bunch of heads. Survivor uh, select. Choose a head and then press go. I can't choose a yeah. head, I won't let me. Choose the spider. The spider. I can't! It's unresponsive, I gotta restart this. Alright, yeah, restart it then. You should be able to just click on a character. So, uh... We're gonna die this this one. We're gonna die. This one. Yeah, we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna die pretty quick. So what's the? Is there another? Yes, yes. I had a, a segue into that. Thank you. Um, so there's a book out. It, it's it's in school. It's now been banned from a lot of schools, thankfully. But it's a book they've had in school libraries called Lawn Boy. Have you heard of this? Yes. Yes. Lawn Boy. So no. it's long story short, it's a pedo book. All right. Oh, that's... It's got it's it's about a guy's okay. gay journey, and it talks about his um, about oh how when he was ten years old, he was with another ten year old at youth group, and they were you know giving each other like blowjobs behind a bush, and all Man. this like, really Dude. really graphic stuff. The disgusting euphemisms they use in that book. Oh yeah, oh, the yeah, the actual text is really disturbing. I'm not gonna read it. Uh, yeah, do not read that. I would definitely get. I, I feel like I would get in trouble. Um, well, is it like a college book or what was it? No, 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 no. For like middle like schoolers, middle schools, high schools, that Batman. sort of thing. So little little kids. Right. And the person who spider. who got your speedrunner. Sort of. Are the graphics fire. supposed to look like shit? More or less. What? Okay. Look, well, you look at mine. You just the graphics. Yes, I did. Like the character sprite is super pixelated. But this is the art style, man. Well, no, 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 no. The art style is fine. Everything on my page is crisp, but like the character sprite is really pixelated. I've forgotten how to put things together. Uh, there's like a crafting on your left. Oh yes. Okay. It's like I would like quick craft crafting. Oh, so yeah, when it gets oh, dark, yeah. Jensen, uh, yeah, you have to be by you have to be by the light, or you get eaten by shadows. Oh, so cool, come yeah. to the left. If you go left, we're over here by a camper. Oh yeah. hey, go. Was I not supposed to do that? <laughs> no, I think you just want to go to the left, and there's a river, and then head down, and that's where the campfire will be. Oh, you can see our icons. That's cool. Anyway, the person yeah, so you who, wanna... got, yeah. who got I notoriety I for opposing this Might kill because oh, they wouldn't mine. they wouldn't get rid of the book like in other place, places places. So I'm there was taking a, flowers. There was a fight, right? She was addressing That's the school nice. board. Um, uh -huh. Her name her... is her name her is Stacy Langdon. Langdon. Of Fairfax, Fairfax County. I'm touching grass. Oh. Interesting. She's a badass. She's been uh, going to the school boards, reading reading passages of it. And first, they they tried to um, interrupt her a bunch. Uh, yeah. And which, like, you're not supposed to do. And she's like, you know, don't talk over my time. And yeah, things got right. heated. And then. They did the classic turn her mic off. Oh, that's, that's lame. So all kinds of fun, fun silencing there. Um, but it was really, uh -oh. it was really funny because she was reading the passages, and they were like, "Ma'am, ma'am, there are there are children here," and it's like, "Yeah, uh, exactly." I think I watched that clip. That was awesome. But yeah, she she was on fire. She was great. They're laying in, ma'am, ma'am. There are children present. You can't be saying all these obscenities and like, I'm reading from the freaking book and there's school. <laughs> you yeah. idiot! It's pretty pretty hilarious. 
Yeah, that is. That is so dumb. But the book, the, the book got, got the, the library, library award <laughs> for, um, and for young adult <laughs> appeal. Mm. Isn't that nice? Interesting. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. So, so it has been taken out of a few schools, schools but mostly, mostly it's it survived, survived and what? being perpetuated yeah. by these. people, people giving, it giving it awards. Take those berries. Yeah. I I don't know why why people were celebrating that book. It's like like I, it's just it's just very sexual, like, you shouldn't be doing that. You shouldn't be giving that to kids, you shouldn't be celebrating that, that it's a kid's book. Yeah. That's just... Just wrong. I didn't know it had, I didn't know it got rewards. That's just so... <laughs> society. <laughs> Stop making that noise! Oh, you can hear that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey, I can hurt spiders. Yeah, I can hurt them, but I don't know why you want to. Got a spider colony. I'm cooking. I'm doing some cooking. Doing some cooking. Let's build a wall. I'm gonna go get more so, grass. I wanted to ask you, Micah. What do you think is the litmus test for this thing? What do you What do you think is What do you think we should do? What's What's the rule here? You know, like like the book, the sexual book. Right. How do we? prevent the book because it it, it 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 seems like this vicious cycle where the book gets into the library the book gets out of the library you know yeah and it's like okay well why the hell is it getting in there in the first place yeah uh, i just i don't know the logistics or like who's uh uh what's, what's it called like crit Credentialing the books, they like, say mm -hmm. looking at them, being like, "Yeah, that that's good." Approving the book. Yeah, approving. Publishing. Yeah, like proofing the books that go in the thing. Like, I don't know how any of that works. So there must be like something going on there. But I think it's also cultural. Like, there's more. It's it's more normalized to be very hypersexualized, and it's increasingly going lower and lower age-wise, and so it's kind of reflecting that in the school system. And we kind of gave over the ground where you can actually teach our kids sex stuff, right? So they're just increasing and going lower on the age. So, right. I mean, that's that would be the cause. Um, but yeah. The, I'm getting attacked by frogs. It's kind of simple, but I regret this immensely. What? I'm being attacked by frogs. I'm running towards you because I need help from the frogs. Oh no, I think they went away. That was bad. Um, yeah, I think I think this kind of. I, I think it has a lot to do with. Is this like, park trying to kill lazy, me? Like lazy parenting. You know. Oh, what the hell? Like parents are encouraged encouraging this sort of thing because you know they don't want to have to do the sex talk. You know, it's the same thing with you know daycares being a big thing. People just don't want to have a parent. They're just allowing someone else to have that. Micah, did you, did are you trying disconnect, to kill me. Micah? Micah, we can't hear you. If you're talking. Um, 
I'll just keep talking then. You know. I think the tear is annoying. Like... People, you know, first abortion is popular because people don't want to have the children and don't want to have responsibility. Birth control is popular because, you know, people don't want to have responsibility and they want the illusion of consequence-free sex. And, and it's like, even if you do decide to have children, there are a bunch who are like, eh, I'm not about that life. Why are the frogs trying to kill me? It's like, come on, man. It's because I hit one of them. And if you're talking, Micah, we still can't hear you. I will uh, tell you. Yeah, Saul was, Saul was asking me if you, if I want to split a Call of Duty, Duty game, and I was like, man. God. Whack. Yeah, I agree. Anyway, Sorry. am I talking nonsense here? I don't I, I, no, I wasn't no. listening to you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's funny. Should you probably repeat that? Nah, I won't. I mean, so, basically, what I'm, my, like, hard, hard and fast rule, I guess, for fixing what seems to be going on in the education system, like, sexually anyway, <laughs> is just reel everything back. Be like, you're only uh, allowed to talk about... The, the biological <laughs> sex, that's it. No gay sex or anything like that. And then stick with 16 or 18, and the class has to be biology. Nothing else. Everything else can be taught by your parents. If you want to teach them values and principles and how to have so much sex in the world and stuff, then you can do that on your own time with your parents. That's no, literally all you have to do. Like, when it comes to straight sex, like all they do is talk about the biology. But within gay, within with gay sex, they're like, they always Here's have to talk about. Stuff you can do. Yeah, they all, always have to talk about fetishes. They're going into tools and and butt plugs, and it just gets really graphic, really fast. Okay, wait. Right. So when they talk about straight sex, and they talk about the biology and yeah, they're they because obviously... they're talking about making a baby. They're not actually talking yeah, 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 about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So so basically, they they go into you know that. You know, you gotta wear protections and how it works, right? And so the, the, obviously yeah. they're talking about the bad things about it, right? So why no, don't they true. talk about the bad things the bad thing. about gay sex? Why don't Honestly. they talk about the anal cancer you can get? <laughs> and all the AIDS and yeah. all the other horrible stuff? I'm just saying, if you, if you are gonna talk about the gross gay stuff, you, could, you better be talking about the horrible things you can get, too. <laughs> I mean, that's... Yeah, yeah, that's a valid point. As yeah, that's valid. All right, so that's a that's a addendum to my my plan. So at sixteen or eighteen, if they talk about gay sex at all, it's only gonna be negatives. <laughs> the negative uh, downsides mm -hmm. and the protections you need to have. But yeah, I mean, it's simple as that. Just no sexual stuff in school form, unless it's that. That's it, dude. But, yeah, I can't have that. It's been so long since I've played this game. I'm so confused. I'm looking at all the items. Like, what am I? <gasps> ah, I'm in the dark! Right. Yeah, we need to craft, like, a crafting bench or something. I got chicken. I have the chicken. Chicken. I have berries. I ate all the chimkin. Can I eat grass? Uh, no. I have 30 grass. You can craft, like, ropes and stuff, I think. You know where the crafting thing is, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to make a pickaxe. It's so sweet. I can make a basket. So you've probably heard about that game, Hogwarts Legacy, right? Um, not really, no. Kind of like a Harry Potter prequel, and there's a lot of people uh, trying to no. 
Oh, okay, how do I equip Boy. things? I built an axe, but I can't equip it. I accidentally unequipped it. Your equips are um, on the bottom, right? Yeah, on the on the bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah but I unequipped it. Oh, there it is. Never mind. Just drag I got, it. I got, I got it. Yeah, I found it. Never mind. Okay. So, good. it's a game, you said? Yes, it's a video game, and they're trying to boycott it because, you know, they think that uh, JK Rowling is a transphobe. Uh, well, that's odd. She probably has like nothing to do with the game. Um, she. I actually don't know, but she's she's usually pretty and in, pretty involved in stuff. She's she's kind of infamous for being very protective of property. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Uh, do rabbits spawn everywhere? Can I put these traps anywhere I like? No, you gotta put them on the holes. Remember the right. Okay. They like sc scurry to, to the hole, and then you gotta. You know. I will um, attempt to find holes. I have three of them. So, ooh, here we go. Yeah, I find hole. it really funny about the transphobia on uh, on uh, J.K. Rowling or whatever, because she's like really. Well, I mean, it makes sense, but I hate I hate all the labeling of the phobies and stuff. Yeah, it's, it's very it's funny. Very broad, very undefined. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Very just. It's a, used as a tool to bludgeon people. Basically, it's not really. Like, and I mean, she's she's like a that. liberal, it's so it's like friendly. Yeah, fire. she's probably like open to that. You know. Stuff. And I mean, she's she's Catholic, so she's you know generally more on the base side, but. Yeah. You know, still. Yeah, she's but it. I think it is a. It's Somebody a reflection. Frogs. Oh my gosh, it's just an army of frogs! <laughs> yeah, get out! Get the fuck out of here! Um, it's a reflection oh, on hey, how feminism and tr trans people, or whatever you want to say, the trans idea ideology or whatever you want to call it, is very. Um, Inter, what like, it can't coexist mm -hmm. together. I just watched an army of frogs kill a pig man, and then I stole his mate. <laughs> I agree. That is awesome. Dude, it was like there were all the frogs you know, were like clumped together. It, it goes back to that idea of you know, being all inclusive and wholly tolerant is impossible. It is because yeah, you have to have some kind of principles. Definitely impossible. You know, you can't sure. abide by everything. Exactly. Or at least but you it, shouldn't. But it's also funny because they get lumped in together, but it's like they, they don't really like each other that much. I mean, if they're being honest. Because tra yeah. trans ideology is basically, if I want to, I can be whoever I want, and that includes a woman. And then it comes to like, okay, so what's a woman? Define woman. And then if you, if you do that, it's like, well, we're basically the same... Like, we're both humans, so there's no woman, there's no man. And then it's like, well, feminism is built upon the fact that, you know, we need to be treated equal, but also agree that, you know, women are <laughs> different, if you're going to be honest with yourself. And so that's where the feminism ideology and the, the trans ideology, they're like <laughs> fighting for dominance. Basically abolishing women as a class. <laughs> as a class. And in doing so, like, undermines feminism, which is... Uh, yeah, I, I think it's funny. That That's why I said when, when uh, transgenderism first became, you know, popular, was... I was like, well, feminism is dead. Yeah. You just shot yourself, you idiot. <laughs> much, yeah. And yeah, that's, that's, I mean, a big reason why there's so much violence at these pride events in England is they do not get along. And But there's people on the I internet who think they're like this, you know, united little world. Yeah. And ev everybody's in it to win it all together, all in this together. And it's like, no. Did you guys, did you guys grab all the rocks? I got a few rocks. I need to make a pickaxe, man. And I, I don't, I don't mean to sound immature, but I was not very interested in Hogwarts Legacy, 
But now I'm totally gonna get it. What is it about? Um, like what kind kind of game is it? I should say. See, I think it's a story game. I thought it was like oh, a, linear story. Um, like a multi, you know, massive multiplayer sort MMO. of thing. MMO. Because because yeah. they've done that before with the property. Uh huh. Um, and that's what the trailers may have looked like. But then I recently saw a different thing, like just today, where it was clear that there was actual characters in a plot. Where'd you guys go? And, you know, they actually got, like, famous people to voice act. You yeah. know, like, like, um, you know, Simon, Simon Pegg, who's, in, who's Sean and Sean of the Dead in all those movies, is, <laughs> is playing, like, the... The Hogwarts headmaster. Last name is Peg. Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty yeah, pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I was like, oh, oh, this is like an actual thing. So I was slightly more interested in it, but but still, it's 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 like the principle of the thing. So I'm like, man, <laughs> I gotta I, get it now. I guess I'm gonna get it now. If it's everyone's living in a transphobia, the game makes me so. a transphobe, then all right. So be it. Yeah. Oh, I'm hungry. Oh my gosh. I need to eat food. I am too, actually. Get my carrot. Can I have two stone from somebody? So. Uh. Damn, I'm yeah. gonna die. I know, bro. This I'm equipping bad. a torch. Dude, I'm right behind you. Stand still. Alright. Follow me. I made a fire. We will survive. I forgot I, I also made a fire. So it was fortuitous that we met. <laughs> ah. We've harvested many of the materials. Hello. I keep forgetting that I'm a spider and I don't have to be scared of those guys. <laughs> I know, they keep like roaring at us. How do you make that emote? My emote. Give to me a stone. Hey, Two I stones. can make an ore. Ore. Yeah, I can. Can I make a boat? We have beards. What? Web beards. Do I have to craft the razor now? I mean, I kind of like the beard. Of course you would. <laughs> Dude, I can't find a freaking rock, bro. Like, what the? On seeds. Yes, infrastructure oh. is becoming difficult. It's yeah, it's scarce. What's up, guys? Scarce here. Um, I'm still hungry. I need to cook this food. I picked up high bones. Examine pig house. Hey, examine the pig house. All I can do. What? Dude, I'm like seeing double and that heart logo is going down. What does that mean? I'm becoming schizo. Well, how Who do is I... Chester and why is how he do following I undo me? That? How do I undo that? Undo what? The... I'm seeing double and the heart thing on the right is really low. Uh, it means you're dying. Why am I probably. dying? Uh, either you don't have enough food, or you don't have enough... Well, yeah, I think it's just food. Well, my do you have food? belly's half full, and I do have food. So I'm confused. Oh, okay. I guess... Well, I need to heal, then. Well, how do I do that? Uh, there's probably a health... Uh... Not the bees! <laughs> Take the bees. The bees are after me. At the bees. I like eight more. Uh, it didn't help. Yeah, if you if you're like maybe seventy or seventy five percent health, you might start regaining HP. What is that? Oh, it's a rabbit. 
At the base. I mean, I'm also help, going double vision mar right now. Marginally. I'm kind of confused. The bees knees. My game keeps freaking blowing up. So speaking of English imm 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 immigration in England, which we talked about, so we actually know how many immigrants they they have they got in um, January 2020 when Brexit hey, cookie crumbles. was kicked off. Mm -hmm. How ma how many immigrants? Was it more? So so think of our um, and this this is England alone, so not Wales. So this is more like fifty million population, right? Uh huh. So fifty million population. They got ten million immigrants. Remember, this is a small Gosh. island. Ten million. Yeah, this little <laughs> island. Million. A fifth of the freaking population. In, Whoa. in what, one year? Yes. Yeah. And the government is saying to expect at least a million a year from now on. Oh my and god. It's like, guys, that's not sustainable. This is in Britain? Yep. In, in, yes, in uh, England, specifically. England. The, the other, uh, England and Wales have, I think they have a joint policy oh, no, bro. when it comes to immigration. Um, we should probably meet up. But... I'm up high. I can head back. I have no idea. Heading back. No idea where you guys are. It's, it's not good. I'm coming uh... back. Yeah, like, immigration, invasion, same thing. Oh, you can heal with spider glands by killing spiders. Okay, what? that's good to know. Um, what was I saying? Right, right, Obama. but uh, uh, Scotland and Ireland have separate immigration policies, which we will talk about. We will talk about. Um, but but it, it's just they're already doing financially so bad. You know, and there's all these, you know, you see all, the, you know, you're not in uh, Instagram a lot, but I'm, I'm like always seeing memes about English people starving. <laughs> that's weird. And of course it's not funny, but that's how people like, you know, cope with it. Is they make memes about it. Yeah, sure it, 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 it it's pretty nuts, because they're like, okay, first we'll do Brexit, but let's not wait to recover. Oh no. No 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 no. <laughs> let's Let's open the floodgates. So our social safety net is overrun and then do nothing about it. Help me! Oh my gosh, you died! Me. Jaden, what the heck man? Why'd you why are you <laughs> trying to attack all these spiders? Because I Bruh. want I want their livers. So I could <laughs> live because I was gonna die. Oh, you got Chester. Yeah, yeah, he just started following me. What did I do with Jaden? Uh, we need. Fire. We need a. Uh... Yeah, there's nothing you can do till morning. Uh oh. Uh, alt we need an altar to get him back. What do I do with Chester? Do I just put shit in there? Yeah, you just. Put anything you want in his mouth, and he's happy. Yeah, the the English English government is is so weird, and people have been been claiming it's the whole prime minister shakeup. But I, come on, like come on, guys, you're a whole government. You should have it more together than this. And yeah, that's yeah, it's it's it's. Stupid. it's it's nuts, because as I said, the, the, the crime is just... I gotta plant a tree. ...through the roof, uh, the, you know... You get that up. didn't work. You have to... You know, it's literally millions of right people stick. with, with different culture <laughs> sensibilities, and you know, I'm... 
Like, don't get me wrong, I'm for immigration, but you can't do it to the point where, like, you're not valuing your, your own your culture own, and your citizens. Own people, your own citizens and your own culture. And yeah. you're trying so hard to be the good guy that you get, you know. Well, I mean, again, I, I said it before, they lost the plot. You know, they're getting they overrun by direction. people with low morals. Yeah, for sure. But I mean, that's what immigration is supposed to be. It's supposed to be a vetting process, and then you're supposed to basically join Britain and be British. Yeah, there but, has there has to be a process, and yeah, you have to make sure people are are willing to to be a part of the culture and aren't going to just be criminals because you know their yeah. standards are significantly different. Uh, well, stupid, I'm going to go find a thing. Uh, go find an altar. I'm finding an altar. Pretty sure there's a setting where I can spawn you back somehow. I mean, I mean, let me see. Server commands. Rescue me. If you ever find yourself stuck in the void, this will put you back on land. Generate world. Roll back the server. Dice roll. I can roll the dice. So, when oh. does this end? What? Because I need to go to bed. When does what end? It ends so when we'll we just... it ends when we die when we fail to survive. Yeah. Cool. Well, I need to go to bed. You're gonna abandon you should, like, us. Should like good good. Okay, good. <laughs> what? Just die. Uh, Is this a so I... game where you just survive? Do I lose all my items if I leave? I think if you leave, you can rejoin and all your items are saved. But I might I might do another world where I can like automatically or like. <laughs> have an unlimited amount of times I can resurrect somebody because I think on default you can only res them like once per altar. Why don't we have a little map in this one? Hey, we do. I, uh, so wait, wait, right. so if I don't... I don't have it. You don't have a map? No. Press M. Maybe it's because you're a ghost. Perhaps. Oh no, it's raining. It's putting out the fire. So... Do you want me so to you give you all, all my yourself. items if I'm leaving? Um. Yes, I guess. Okay. I might die and then <laughs> do a different world. They but, are my logs. I could for your logs. Oh my! I gotta drop everything. Oh, I can yeah, that. Dang. I'm making a garden. Uh, Oh, nice. So, before we continue uh, talking about immigration, I just want to mention that Dell, and I don't know why, but Dell, Dell the company, Dell the company, is going to stop using chips from China. Oh my gosh! Good for them, I guess. Thoughts? I mean. Are they like what is the reasoning? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. I don't know what this is, but I found it and I'm dropping it. It's got a little eyeball thing. Pick up eye bone. Dude, eye I bone I can't I can't advance the map. It's really annoying. Cause I'm That's dead. Um I mean I don't know. I mean I, any any boycott <laughs> Any boycott from China is a good boycott, I guess. That's what I have to say about that. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. If it if it isn't gonna affect their business, then sure. Why not? Screw China. China's terrible. Yeah, I I just love how our country is in debt with a. It's the best. country that over overlords its people and. Um, sticks everyone in a sweatshop for our benefit. Yeah, it's it's Lots terrible. Of subjugation, you know. It's it's funny. Our our government tries its absolute hardest to like virtue signal at every at every corner and um uh. Uh, 
you know, bow to these minorities, but then they're like, benefiting from sweatshops. America's got to keep That's doing very... that. We gotta keep, <laughs> we gotta keep on, you know. We gotta get, get, we gotta do more deals with China. We gotta, uh, we gotta lessen their, their tariffs. We gotta. Why don't we just let them in, in, into the country? Just let all of them in. And just a little invasion. Yeah, it's very two-faced. I don't. I hate that. I don't know if it's on purpose or they just don't think about it enough. I'm being eaten by a shadowy creature, and this is not very. <laughs> this is not okay. I am lost. Not all those who wander are lost. No, I'm lost. No, I'm definitely lost. You have a map. I'm the map. I'm the well, map. I am going to be dipping out now, because I have work tomorrow, so I okay, can go so... fix computers and phones for druggies and old people. Yeah, go leave. The reason I haven't started a new topic is because I don't want to, like, entice you. It's not. So get out of here. One of the reasons I hate my job is dealing with the druggies, where they smell horrible, they're not <laughs> all there. And then there's old people. They smell horrible. They're not all there. <laughs> they're not all there. Basically the same. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. They're, they're very different, but the same. <laughs> that is funny. Uh, <laughs> I've gotten to the point in my job where if I see an old person walking in, I, I just am filled with dread. Hello. <laughs> oh, bro. I don't hate old people. I'm not saying that. I just... Sometimes I feel like I'm just holding their hand through everything. I work ah. in a nursing home. Yeah. I get that. Yeah. It's... Uh, very trying at times. Uh-oh. Yeah, I don't know. So I will bid you I all a it. very fond farewell. Okay. Good night. Um, we're Good having an interesting problem. Oh. My stream is not recognizing the game. It says looking for a game to capture. <laughs> that is epic. Man, what has it been looking at? <laughs> I have no idea. I have no idea if it was ever looking at. At don't starve. It it may have been like this for a good good <laughs> amount of time. Please wait while we process your video game. You have to like probably import it or something. Like register it. This is but why would it display it day by daylight but not the other one? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I don't know how to fix this at all. Now. Okay, all right, now. Okay. Good night, all. See you later, stupid face. I. Uh, yeah. You have a stupid face. No, no, you have a stupid. Face. Well, you look like a. N it is. It no. is not. It's not even recognizing. Recognize my authority. All right, here we go. Okay, okay, I fixed it. Did you now? Yes. Man, I don't know how long it was like that. That's really bad. Forever. Survivor death change survivor. Actually, that might be... Mate, revive at floor and po posture and disable. Buffalo mating frequency with the setting. What the heck? Go sanity tree. Alright. Do you want to change to a different survivor when you die or get respawned at the spawn point thing that we come through in the beginning? 
Spawn point. I guess. Spawn point. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I don't really... It's been so long, I don't really know the characters, so... It doesn't... Doesn't really matter. Well, maybe you'll get to know them better if you change to one. Okay, that's that's a good point. But I'm not really paying attention to that. Well, you're gay. Alright, I'm generating the world. Okay. So. Obama. So, are you familiar with the debacle surrounding limited run games? No. No? Okay. Let One me enlighten you. So, limited run games, they do special releases of video games, kind of like how, how you could do like special editions of movies where they have like a steel book and it's got all this crap in it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so like a deluxe of the game. Right. Deluxe um, edition. And it is, as it says, limited run. So they fired their community manager... Kara Lynn, she's um, a conservative and a Christian, and I don't know if that had anything to do with it, but I'm guessing it did. But they fired her for a tweet from 2016. Classic. <laughs> so, and it's a... It's a game company, or is it just a type of game? It's a game distributor company. Game distributor, okay. So yes, they make those physical... physical th uh, games you can buy. So the tweet said that... you know, it was talking about the... the... Uh, public bathrooms argument and she said uh, the number of pervs is higher than the number of transgenders that was that was the tweet that was it <laughs> yep that was it from you know gosh like 2016 was a long time ago number of mm -hmm. pervs exceed of transgender. But I mean, like, yeah. so so basically, wouldn't just, that be? I don't even know what the argument is there. <laughs> so, uh, like, so it's basically, just saying that transgenders should not be allowed um, in bathrooms of the gender that they identify as, basically. Oh. So just, yeah, I mean that makes yeah, sense. That was she got okay. fired for that? Yes, from that tweet from 2016. And the person who was trying to get her fired, we've learned, is um, a pedophile. <laughs> and has all these, no, all these really? tweets. <laughs> That's... Like, like, I read one today that was like, they were saying, um, like he's you know, you shouldn't, you shouldn't or use, is suspected? you know, you shouldn't use the word rape because it's like dehumanizing or something. And, and you know, basically what? saying it, it, trying to advocate for it, you know, say, oh, you know, it's not that bad and you're not considering the rapist and all this nonsense. So it was like, I mean, a superbly terrible person. Superbly, yeah, terrible. So he has those tweets or comments or whatever it is, and then yeah, and he then... gets her fired for her calling out. <laughs> They're being creeps. Yep. What kind of form of theater are we in? <laughs> <laughs> you can't make that this stuff up. Excellent question. I, I don't know. I don't. Uh, 
So, you she got actually dead. fired. And he was advocating for her getting fired. Yes, he was trying to get it happen. And the company sees no issue in what he's said in the past. Yes. I mean, that's, that's, I mean, that was basically, I mean, that was basically what everyone was calling them out on for. <laughs> was like, and, and they made this. Hey, we have standards, and they all made right? This, they made we this have double statement standards. about the firing because they got a lot of flack. You know, one of those, like, indirect tweets, you know, where it's not really referencing the event, but it's clearly that's, you know, a response to one of those things that come to It's really annoying. I, yeah. I think they're wusses, actually. But anyway. You know, they're like, oh, we're the, this company, and, and, you know, we're this outstanding company that's inclusive, and we don't, we don't go for hate, and, and, you know, we respect each other's beliefs. And it was like, no, you don't. <laughs> no, no, you don't. You obviously don't tolerate anyone in an uh, opposing view at all. What company, uh, so what company is this? What are they called? Let me look. Limited Run Games. Limited called. Run Games. Limited okay. Run Games. I mean, you don't right. you don't buy physical copies of games, so I don't think. Right. Uh, I used to buy. Uh, I used to buy physical games, but I got I got like Game Pass and stuff, and I share a lot of like me and Saul. The Xbox has this really cool thing where like if you get a uh, a digital copy of a game and you have your like home set to some other Xbox but then you play on your account on a different Xbox then you both own the game mm -hmm. so it's like we're paying half the price for a game we both like own it like we can both play it that makes sense but it's digital yeah so it's cheaper in long run and also we share the game pass which is like a subscription for 200 plus games and so we both can play that as well so i've i've lost a lot of uh ordering physical games plus i got an xbox s which does not have it does not have a disc tray which is unfortunate but so yeah yeah the only physical games i have are um ones from when i was a kid that like we had before steam and ones for like really old games that aren't on steam that's yeah. that's about it. Cause yeah, I think PC, it's just more expensive generally. Yeah, PC PC kind of was early to the like very digital type of games. Very very early. Uh, where are uh, you? We should we should group up. Oh yeah. Oh, I Coming. see your icon. Yeah, console was very physical based with the video games, but now it's moved more digital, like the PC. PC, uh, stuff. Are you making a campfire or should I? I'm making rabbit traps. So we got a food a source. Food. Yeah, I mean, kind of like. Kind of like movies and TV shows, you should always get it on physical because then you own it and then they can't really, like, stop yeah. you from playing it, but it's just so much benefit mm -hmm. for, like, the digital games. Like, I'm just like, eh. Yeah, no, I, I get it. I do. So. But, yeah. I mean, it, I'd much rather, like, get a physical game where it's, like, a board game or something. Honestly, yeah, those are those are pretty expensive though. I wish they weren't. <sighs> yeah, I mean, I look at it like you know, a triple A game is like sixty dollars, and a a good board game is like sixty dollars. So, and you can play a board game, and it's like you can sit around with your buds and play it whenever you want, wherever you want. It's true. They do pay for themselves. If you yeah, can, if you can if get you have the people value out of play it. it with you. Right. I mean, you can have, you can have, you can play, like, board and card games without, you know, blowing wads of cash. Spending, yeah. like, $60. I 
I mean, you could play, you could play like D and D with literally pen and paper, and it's <laughs> it's a very fun game. Right. Don't need it to be it's too overblown yeah. with your pieces and stuff. Yeah. Just need that certain right. amount of creativity. Need ing ingenuity and creativity. Yeah. <laughs> Do a lot of things with arts and crafts materials. Yeah, that that is stupid. I mean, that's the way all like corporate hiring and firing work nowadays. So it's like it's not surprising, but it's just like yeah, they just don't they just don't value people. If you're gonna fire somebody, can you please have the same standard for somebody else that's probably done even worse, like publicly? Posting stuff. Yeah. You could at least have a little integrity if you're gonna be weird. Yeah. Oh no, this is frogs. Okay, let's see. I think we've talked about that sufficiently, I guess. I suppose so. Okay. So, um,. Of course, last time we talked about, you know, how you can overdo it with immigration. And what the heck? I I did not attack this frog. <laughs> Sometimes so it's now just it's attacking me. Even... Now there's two attacking me. Now <laughs> the frog army. I don't. Why won't it die? Damn it! Died by a frog. User, user, all the bees, not the bees. I think so. I think you can just respawn, right? Yep. Okay. That's good. I'm coming on back. Gotta a lot better than last time, where we just spent like 15 minutes junk. wandering around as a ghost. Yeah. Not the bees. I spent a lot more than Once we get, minutes. yeah. Once we get like really good at this game, then we'll be like, all right, we're doing try hard mode. Don't die. Try to last as long as I, possible. I don't know where I died or where our camp is. Uh, the map should show you somewhat, right? Or no? No, it 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 like re redone itself, so. Oh okay, oh okay, I, I got it. Basic basic area. I'm trying to find some rocks so I can get some gold. Um anyway. And basically how it's you know, we, we talked about you know, people don't understand because because we live in, you know, America, the melting pot of nations and you know, we just have a lot of diversity naturally. They don't understand that when it comes to other countries and us to a certain extent, you know, diversity is, is not their strength at all. They don't, you know, we got, we got all of these whiners who haven't seen the world and they, they, they don't understand just how homogenous the rest of the world is. Yeah. Right? And understand how you go to other countries, and it's it's mostly one type of person. Right. Very uh blind. I cannot find my countries. crap. This is bad. This is bad. It's gonna become dark soon. Oh, I think I found it. Yeah, this is where you died. That's funny. Uh. Wait, maybe I can. Do you show up on my map? No. I'm gonna go down the road and maybe you'll show up. I don't know. Oh, I see you. Yeah, do you see my icon? Nope. It should be like an arrow on your thing. I don't see you. You don't see the arrow that's pointing to me? No. There is no one. And. So obviously England is being destroyed by it, and Scotland has become, you know, overrun with the Communist Party, and 
you know. Follow me. It, it seems like, uh, like, feminism was especially, uh, effective in Scotland. And, I mean, that's a whole nother story, but the amount of beta cucks in Scotland is, is really something to behold. It was really weird because Scotland was like, or it's depicted to be like really manly and. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Brolic and stuff. Scotland. <laughs> now they're just like, oh yeah, what if you want, man? Yeah, you can just uh, sleep with any guy you want. Uh, yeah, I think I mentioned be here. last time, like how the most search uh, type of. Uh, what? Porn Are you making noises? Scotland was um, femme domination. Oh my gosh, really? Yeah. That is so quite <laughs> quite kind of quite cucked. That's kind of. <laughs> how did you, how do you get these statistics, man? Uh, it's like yeah, you know when uh, Scotland. Uh... It's a, it's a lot of different. A lot of different sources. It, take, it takes a while. To... Jaden's like, you know what? I'm gonna look up the. Uh... That's a read through a lot of garbage. The, the Scotland's porn filter statistics today. Well, it was sort of like a thing, like like Pornhub released the numbers of like the top searches to everyone, right? And, yeah. Um, you know, I was looking. I was looking at all the different states, but then I was like, "Hmm, you know, why don't I look at other countries? That could be interesting and perhaps be reflective, Insightful. reflective of of certain things." And it's true, it is. Yeah. Like in Virginia, the 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 top the top search is smoking. What? Which is very weird. I don't understand why you would be attracted to that. But at the same time, Smoking. you know, that makes sense because that's that's Virginia, right? People are sexually With, uh... attracted to smokers. <laughs> yes, that's right. Man, uh, I need to smoke more cigars. <laughs> Dude. Dude. Dude, that's a chick magnet right there. Do not, don't, no, no, because that's <laughs> that's of porn users. You understand, okay? I mean, those are those are not the people you're after. Listen, that is true. All right. Um. Anyway, that is and an important distinction, actually, because just because there's a bunch of like popular filters doesn't mean like actual society at large is generally attracted to what? smokers. It's just the, like the, a very the frogs attacking me. No. A very Sexualized minority, or sexually, uh, what? Depra uh, not depraved, but like. Yes, I understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's not a reflection of population um, sensibilities or anything. Yeah. Which is why I was interested, because I was think I was wondering like what it could be a reflection of, you know, what kind of what kind of thoughts I could get out of that. Um, that was weird. I didn't even know that was a category, to be honest. Dude, I didn't either. Smoking I mean, fetish. I, no, I, I had no idea that. I never heard of smoking fetish. <laughs> the more you know. That's interesting. But anyway, so I've always talked about Ireland, right? And I'm, I, you know, I'm, I'm a big uh, Irish sympathizer, I guess. You're sympathizing. Because, like, you know, they've been they've been struggling in in um, England's grasp for for a long time and and suffering their nonsense. Yeah. And you know they they really you know want to be their own thing, their own country, the Irish people anyway. And, and yet they've always had to answer to England, you know. It was it was only um, in the 60s that they were finally allowed to be called the Republic of Ireland. Oh, that's so, yeah, the, the 60s. So they, they've had it pretty rough, right? And mm -hmm. 
in recent years, they've been, you know, mostly untouched. Like, especially by woke stuff, even. It's, they've, they've still, like, you know, still have, like, some of the best comedies on television. Just, you know. Great content, you know, it, it's, it's, I mean, they're, uh, they're very much, uh, I mean, they're an island, so they're mostly self-reliant, you know, you know, I mean, you know the, the stereotype of Irish farmers. I mean, it exists for a reason. Yeah. Because, yeah, they're all farmers, they're all, it's all Ireland, it's all, you know, beautiful farmland, and what have you. Um, uh. It's a lot of dummy mommies that they want, you know? <laughs> no, I don't remember what Ireland's was. I shouldn't... I should look that... I should look that up. Uh, oh, no, so no, wait, no, I remember what it was. The dummy mommies was... Was Scotland. Scotland. Scotland, okay. I, I always get this mis mixed up because they're like... They're very similar, at least in my mind. But. Uh, they do have their... They do have a lot of culture similarities. But they're not. I mean, they're not even attached, you know, by by land. Yeah. I mean, uh, that's true. So they do get to be. Uh, also, I think they get pissed off when you. They what? Um. Also, I think they get pissed off if you. Uh. Act like they're one and the same. Yes. Yeah, Which I imagine. I imagine so. I probably would too. Uh, so, sorry, I was trying to oh, think of where I was going. Yeah, so, Scotland, kind of a small island country full of, full of farmers. So I've yeah. always been like, you know, like these people should remain safe and untouched and the like. Yep. What? Wait. What Sorry, my pickaxe is annoying me. How do you get water? I don't know. That's concerning. Do I get water from berries or So anyway. Oh sweet. Cut read. Oh, that is not good. I'm not doing that. Goodness gracious. So Scotland's got a new. I mean, not Scotland. Ireland has got a new prime minister. It's actually one that they that they've had before. Where are you? Um... I'm in the, like, orange... autumn... biome. If you know where that is. You see the autumn biome? Kinda. Uh, oh yes. I'm, I'm there too, it's just very... fast, so... Alright, uh, at the end of the trail, oh, that's where I'll be. Okay, I guess I'll stand there, down there approximately. I need more fibers. Show. I need more fibers. Anyway, he, he was, he, he was gotten rid of because he, he was prime minister before, He's gotten rid of because he wasn't very popular. He mm -hmm. uh, legalized abortion in Ireland in 2018. So. Oh well. You, yeah, that's. You can imagine how they feel. Um. But you know, with new diversity quotas, they got the shakeup in government, and the government ended up choosing him again because you know, of course, they don't vote for him. Which I think is stupid. I think they should they... choose their leader. How... Wait, how did how does the leader get chosen? Um, how does it even work? It's the. <sighs> I can only like explain it in like American terms, right? 
Do you have a campfire made? I know. I just tried. What? Make a campfire, man. I'm trying. What do you need? Oh, I just wasn't holding it down long enough. You're gonna make us go schizo mode. So how do they get them? Um, Is there like a board or something? Yeah, pretty pretty much. It's kind of like our um, Congress or Senate or whatever, you know. It's oh, it's okay. like that. They got a whole whole group of government officials who usually deal with laws and stuff. And the so the representatives, the, yeah, the rep do they get elected? Yes, the representatives get elected, but they choose who sits. Um, okay. It's it's the same with with Prime Minister of England, which is why it just keeps getting thrown around all over the place and it's kind of a mess. Yeah. Do you have a gold by chance? Um, uh, we have two gold, see. we can make a little... I have... Oh wait, it's only one gold. Nitra? Oh, sweet. Nit... N-I-T-R-E? Nitre. Yeah, I have some too. I made a bench. Crafting bench. Neat. Science. Can make a shovel. Can make a freaking hoe and a pitchfork. Make a whirly fan. Wee! <laughs> I think this raises my sanity. Yeah, it does. I don't That's understand cool. what I want to do. I will just do not a lot. Um, I made a shovel. Now I can shovel things. Like this. This. So anyway, the guy, the guy has, the guy's back in. Um, and so he is all about immigration now. Um, I looked at the statistics to figure out like what countries were being like immigrated the most from, mm -hmm. and it's mostly oh shoot yes it's Turkey so Middle Eastern people and yeah. uh, Nigerian <sighs> and when will they learn? Of course, uh, I don't know if you know of any of the the other woes, but there are people in Turkey and, you know, immigrants in Turkey from other countries who are causing loads of problems. Because, <laughs> yet again, they're, causing they're, they're, a little bit of they're Middle Eastern, and their moral standards are so much different. It's an entirely different culture, and they come here and uh, do crime. Lots of crime. The uh, the consent is kind of iffy. Here's Sorry now. Oh. Consent. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes, yes. The uh, the consent of their romantic partners are a little, a little lax in those countries. Just time. The, uh, the respect and dignity that they have for said romantic partners are kind of also iffy. Mm -hmm. Meaning they treat women uh, like uh, garbage. Yes. Uh, so, yeah, that's, that's uh, so, yeah, they're, they're being invaded and... Um,
lots of people are complaining about this, so this isn't, this is my speculation, I want to point that out, not my speculation. Uh, this is, um, a lot of, a lot of Irish people are talking about how, you know, usually you would, you would, you know, walk down a street in Dublin, and, you know, if you, like, save a few, you know, American tourists or whatever, it was, it was all Irish, you know, all the same people, you know, like any other normal, <laughs> normal non-American country, and yeah. they said that, you know, you know, I went back for the, for the first time in, in many years after, you know, getting a job in other places or whatever, and it, and it's totally different, they said you'll walk down the street and you'll hear almost nothing but Middle Eastern languages and um there there was there was one guy who was talking about how there was there there's like a big problem in his town of like middle easterners taking a dump in the streets basically and how it's not even like like homeless people it's like for some reason, wherever they f they're from, they think they can just do that. It's like, man, you, the prime minister really did not take that into account, did they? That's based. They're like, you know what? I poop on the sidewalk. I think that's that's appropriate. So, a, I mean, a very, very different Ireland, to say the very least. Um, and I think that's like, like the story for most of Europe now is just mm -hmm. very like stupid, naive, liberal people who are in charge and don't really have any uh, yeah. uh, accountability to their citizens, and then they're just like. All right, well, uh, I'm going to be super inclusive and uh, let everybody in. Mm -hmm. And then it's like this avalanche of just rising immigrants, and then the immigrants <laughs> take power in the government, and then it's just like, well, I guess we're done as a country. Yeah. And... Um... Where see, the F is the stones? So, the, uh... The guy is, uh... Dude. Oh no, bro. I didn't look at the time! <sighs> I have a torch and a dream. Uh, what? So he's He's gay. Actually he is. He's he's I um, knew it gay and Indian. He's Indian? Yes. The the English Prime Minister is also Indian, strangely enough. Uh or I think he is. It's an inside his, job his, what you're his saying. name his name sounds like it. I his name is Richie Sunak. Doesn't sound like an English game name to me. I could be wrong about that one. Uh. So anyway, the Irish Prime Minister is is trying to to build his new thing. Is you know, even though there, um, Ireland is going to be going into a recession this year. He is going to spend all the all the money on housing for these immigrants. <laughs> uh, free free housing, I might add, because as I said, that they have there's a right to housing and all this garbage. But guess what? In Ireland, um. So they built they built a bunch of houses and they're doing doing uh, housing complexes and they're doing a bunch more, but yeah, 
homelessness is at an all time is, is at a, is at a record high in in Ireland and of course it is. Thought they had a right to housing. What the heck? Well, that's the thing. This this is the ironic part. It is the the majority of the homeless are Irish citizens. Oh no. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, bro. Uh. Yep. Dude, this is so sad. Why why does Europe have to be so like I don't know. Yeah, just... and, uh, I mean, for the audience, you know, you 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 don't have to take my word for it. You you know, I put I put links in the, you know, bottom. You you could see all this stuff, and it's 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 just so ridiculous. Like, <laughs> they they've got mass home, they've got mass homelessness. They're in a recession. You know, the the whole face of the country is 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 changing, and. He's like, well, what do we do? Oh, spend, spend taxpayer money on housing for the immigrants that are causing us so much trouble. Yes, that'll solve it. That'll that'll definitely do it. And let's let's put the housing on uh, valuable farmland because that's all that's left, basically. Which is mm. just 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 brilliant. I mean, it's stupid, and it just it just hurts me so much that like it's Europe's just bending over and taking it. It yeah, and it, it's it's happened in Ireland now, you know. My precious untainted Ireland is, is <laughs> not now to done be for. Ireland. Like really, I just and I have one thing, one thing. I don't. I don't want this. I don't want. You know what I mean? Like, ah. Uh, I don't think the I Ireland uh, citizens want that either. No, I don't think they do. I don't think they like it too much. I can't. I can't imagine why they would. And uh, actually, I'm gonna look up. There was more to that article, but I forget what it was. There was more about the. Where are we going? The vase. Oh, that's frogs. Um. Where's the bay? Oh, it's over there. Oh, I found the one that's um. The immigration numbers, if you want to know, they they received a total of of sixty four thousand visa applications in twenty twenty two. Holy. 64,000. I actually don't know what the population of Ireland is. I'm going to look that up real quick. I mean, it's just not a very big place. It's I mean, it's, it's, a, little, it's a little island. It's a fun little island full of cheeky people. Or it was. <laughs> yeah, 5 million. 5 million. Population is 5 million? Yeah. So really small, really small. So a population of five million getting over, you know, sixty-four thousand immigrants. Holy cow! Wowza! No wonder they need housing. Like, and yet again, why is that Ireland's responsibility? They're Ireland. They're a little island country that's going into a recession. Why is this their responsibility? This is just insane. Like, wait, their leader is retarded. You're just gonna. They're gonna destroy the country. They're just gonna destroy it. it, it it's unbelievable. Um, and they're on the fast track. So let's see. Yeah, there's also a good deal of Indians. About twenty-four thousand. So they gotta. So within the first 
six months of 2022, they issued a total of 7,000 citizenship certificates. So, yeah, that's a lot. Um, but think of how many of those people have not gone through the process and are just layabouts, essentially, getting that free housing. Yeah. That's just not good for the economy. It's just... Just not good. Uh, yeah, I mean, no matter how good your intentions are, or... Like... <laughs> how, uh... Yeah, I under, I under... How virtuous you look. I understand the desire. Scared. You know, you want to help people, but... A country's a country, it's not a person. You know, no. and it's, it's being, you know, instead of the it Irish looks. people being represented, you know, it's, it's, the, these decisions are just the uh, representation of, you know, Le uh, Leo Veridkar, or however you say his name. Car. And so it's like I, I feel so bad for Ireland because like there's there, it, it, it's the same problem all over again, you know. They're still getting, you know, they want democracy and they're still getting pushed around by some guy, some absolute maroon. Okay, so I'm I'm looking at the housing thing. So this, the, the plan to get the housing process is 33,000 is, they have a target of producing an average of 33,000 homes a year. 33,000. Uh, Ireland's just not big enough, I'm sorry. Uh. Holy cow. Uh, And they have 70,000 that have been approved, but are still in the process of being built. 70,000. So that's over 100,000 housing units. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. Yeah, that's... The, the <sighs> annual spending of the house currently stands at 4 billion pounds. I don't know if that's a lot for Ireland, but I assume it is. Because they're small. Yeah. So yeah, that's pretty serious. Uh, pretty... Bad stuff. Okay, why is everything a ghost? <laughs> Are you insane? Pick up a flower and start... Or pick up a... What are they called? Whirly fan? Wind things? Yeah. Start running around with it. I'm running around. Whee! Your brain power should, should go up. I'm trying. Da 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 da. What else can I do? It's not working. Make a flower hat. Ooh, that's true. Right. You could kill yourself. <gasps> it's the buffalo. The buffalo. I need 12 flowers. Shoot. Of the buffalo poo -poo. I don't have enough flowers. I need to eat, but I can't. <laughs> Did you eat, man? What's wrong with you? Oh, well, I can't eat uh, the rabbit. You... Why not, man? So. Yeah, I mean, it'll just be Europe is like a train wreck. You just you just gotta watch it, man. 
you can't really do anything about it. You just watch it get worse and worse, then it's crashing and just crumpling up and exploding. You're like, wow, this is horrible. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how that wrecks the country. Because I feel like that's going to wreck it really fast. Yeah. You know, like, I'm no politician. I'm no, uh, you know, financialist. You know, I don't know all the ins and outs of the Irish government, but I feel like you're really going to put things downhill really, really fast. And well, the, the worst really thing is, like, high. the Irish people, the culture, or the... Yeah. All that, all that uh, stuff is going to go away, and then everybody's going to be like, well... Yeah, they're so obsessed with, with, with race and so obsessed with virtue signaling that they're going to destroy culture. It's, it's a terrible <laughs> irony. Yeah. It's, it is pretty... <laughs> Why is everything so ironic and very sad? It's just... <laughs> I know. It's messed up. I have some rabbit meat. Rabbit schmidt. Still trying to find a rock. Cannot find the freaking rocks, dude. Bunch of rabbits up here, though. I need to make this hat. I made a hat! Mm. Huzzah! Why is killing things so hard in this game? You're a wimpy little baby boy. <laughs> I'm a wimpy little baby man. Yeah. You gotta grow up big and strong before you can attack a frog. You know, Ireland is really very beautiful. I would have liked to have seen it in its prime. Yeah. It seems like there are a lot of places like that, you know, like Paris burning and all that. It's like I had I had this, you know, I really like traveling and you know, I had this grand dream of seeing the world and it, 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 it's like there are no nice places to visit. It's crumbling all around you. Hurry, go it, see it, it before it's, it's too yeah, late. Yeah, exactly. It's so on one side. It's like, man, I don't want to go there, but at the same time, it's like, well, it's only gonna get worse. <laughs> Should I go now or like ten years where it's like full of crazy people who want to poop everywhere? <laughs> ah, I can't find our base. Oh no, bro! If you look on the map, you'll probably see the little crafting station. Oh, I do. Okay. I've gathered a mini of poo poo. Well, let's talk about um, something a little more fun. Yeah. And it, 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 tell me this. Do you think big butts are racist? <laughs> like the sexualization of big butts, or what do you mean? Being attracted just, to big just butts? Just big butts. <laughs> just big butts. Um. Big butts, man. That. Uh, right? Oh my gosh. Oh no. Nah. <laughs> Freaking annihilated. Um. So. Sorry, the, I, was, uh, I was cooking. I, I I got lost. On. I mean, being attacked with big butts is like not racist. I mean. <laughs> I think there's a proclivity 
for one race to have um, bigger protruding buttocks. So, a person named Heather Radke, uh, some fat white chick, Heck if yeah. that's important. Um, where'd my axe go? There we go. Has written a book on the history of butts. <laughs> Which, I mean, in a way, is just like the Bible. But, you know, what do I know? I mean... You know, we, we have the creation of butts and so <laughs> forth. And a lot of butts contradicting the butts. Be like, but, what about this? And... Yeah, I get that. And Heather, bless her heart, has decided that white women having a dump truck is racist. Because that is an appropriation of something that is primarily black culture. And honestly, she's the racist because she's the one that said it, not anyone else. <clears throat> of course. This new Ming. But that's just a big... And... You just... Why do you meet, like... You, you, and, you either and have a big booty or you don't. Like, how's that... Dude, yeah, I know. It's, uh, a lot of the time, there's, there's no control. I like, know. Like, they can't control, quote-unquote, appropriating black people in that regard. That just doesn't make any sense. Like, if you're... Okay, so... So, a... What? A good faith argument would be... Okay, she's probably talking about plastic surgery and how they're getting plastic surgery on and making their butts very big. Like, that could be the only thing I could think of that would be well, an I'm, argument. I'm, 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 I'm going to tell you why even that would be wrong. Okay. But, but, but it, it goes further. It goes further. She says that <clears throat> not only is it racist to have the big butt. But, and this is a big butt, it is also racist for white men to enjoy a butt. Because apparently it, 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 it's black men that originated this. And we only knew how to do it because we learned from them. She states. Learn what? <laughs> Attraction what to you... butts. What? What? Is... I know. I know. But they're not a different species. They're the. S it. We all have the butts. <laughs> like. It's just the, the only thing is like. A proclivity to bigger or maybe smaller butts, depending on your ethnicity. But like, it's, uh, how do I get water? I just don't understand. I I think I I, I eat food and the water goes up sometimes. But I, actually, I don't know if that's even water. I think that's just like how wet you are. Maybe I don't know. I'm confused. Oh, I have a hat now. That's nice. But yeah, she's wrong. I mean, all men are attracted to butts. We're all attracted to that general area of a woman, like we're supposed to be, because that's where the reproducing happens. And it's just incredibly stupid to suggest otherwise. I mean, even historically. She tried to argue historically all this different stuff. And it, it, it's just like, no. No. You know, you could look at, you know, Marilyn Monroe or any other sex symbol with a big butt that was so famous before so any I, colored person did. So I will comment on this, this front. So the very sexualized um, culture that we're in, there's a lot more emphasis on, like, gigantic butts. Not just like normal. 
Well, even uh, that, I mean, curviness, Maryland, like, because right. normal curviness is attractive, right? But people have gone all out, and they're like, "I want the fattest thing ever," and I feel like that's kind of a bit much. And I think that has that it has some roots in like eh, I wouldn't say black culture, but I mean the black culture is like very very mainstream. I don't know nowadays. I, I, yeah. So I mean, yeah. I I could there is an argument there for that. I mean, but, I mean that that was her argument. She was talking about like. Um, Still not racist. She's talking about like Anaconda and you know Nicki Minaj and that kind of thing. And right. oh, it, oh, it was from that and due to the popularity of that. And it was like, but there are plenty of guys who you know like butts and never saw that. Liked it and, before. Yeah. You know, never talked about it with anyone else. And I mean, not to mention there are plenty of people who've watched. Who have watched that stuff and been disgusted by it, despite liking butts, like myself. I think it's ridiculous and, and egregious, and I think there's a distinct difference between a fa uh, fat butt and a, you know, a big muscular butt. And those, most of those ladies right. are just they're fat. Yeah, for sure. And they like eat a ton and then you know get fat in the bottom and then do a lot of like upper body workouts and do exclusively that so they get. You know, fat on the bottom. A lot of OnlyFans models that do that. Well, but that's it, but it, that's, there's a whole dietary plan for me. No, dude, there, there's a, there is seriously. And uh, that's interesting. It's just like, man. man. Like, what are you talking about? Are you making a fire? Or am I making a fire? Uh, could you make a fire? Yes. Uh, but yeah, it, 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 it just, uh, really now, you know what I mean? Uh, so her whole argument is like being attracted to or having a very big butt is yeah. racism. All part of our systemic racism, you know? So... I mean, you'd ha you you could have a argument, I'm not saying it's a strong one at all, for being attracted or, like, it being mainstream, I guess. I mean, for it being mainstream. But. But still not racist. Yeah, the, but the, 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 yeah, the thing is, like, racism, like, what is her definition of racism? Because it's just, it doesn't make any sense. I think it's just a buzzword, like I said. She's yeah, just I saying mean, it. Psychologists have been have known for a long time that um, that uh, depressed people are more attracted to that area for whatever reason, and you know those studies have you know were done, you know back when black people were like, you know, a five percent of the population and weren't really a big part of media yet. Oh. So it's like. It's just a human thing. This isn't a race thing, you guys. At all. Yeah. Like, sexual attraction is just a human thing. For goodness sakes. I mean, no, I mean, I understand being attracted to different races, because there's different, like, stuff you find attractive. But, yeah, on a general... <laughs> yeah, generally, attraction... Generally inherently. speaking, men like curvy buttockses. It's not... Anything yeah, to because do with um, you know we we, we are more likely to be attracted to women who look like they're not going to die in childbirth, and that means wide hips. Right. So it's like that's just it's on a subconscious level. Also, if they were just rectangular, that would be very boring and manlike, and that's lame. Yeah, that would be lame. Ain't nobody want that. Don't want them rectangular features. No rectangle hips. If a woman has rectangular hips, I'm sorry. Yeah, sorry. May God have mercy on your soul. Yeah. 
It's like, yeah, I, I feel sorry for you, but at the same time, <laughs> not enough. Just, <laughs> just get, just get hip and plants. All right, that's all I'm saying. Yeah, work it out. I don't know. I mean, at least, at least people with like flat chests can get like boob jobs, but you can't really get hip jobs. Yeah. Plus, it'd be mm -hmm. pretty dishonest. Be like, yeah, I got wide hips, and then you try to give it birth, and you're like, oh! Never mind. <laughs> I like. <lied. laughs> uh, where's my. S oh, that's funny. It is. Dude. Dude, it's so weird because, uh. Um, like, ugly people, they'll get plastic surgery. Um, like women, they'll get like plastic surgery, like tons, and they'll look attractive or whatever. And then men will like marry them, but they still have the same genetics. So, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like a false. <laughs> it's like catfishing, kind of. The woman's catfishing. <laughs> it's like a false uh, reality that they're baiting men into. I never looked at it that way. That's. I mean, yeah. It's very dishonest. It is very dishonest. It's like, no, I'm not ugly. Trust me, I, I look, uh, I look great. Have babies with me. No, I'm not. I'm definitely not into implants. No, I, I definitely like. I, I would rather have an average-looking woman who's, you know, yeah, all real, than a Barbie or a natural or not a natural, but. Plasticky, <laughs> plasticky features. Did my items disappear, or am I just looking in the wrong place? I don't remember. Uh. Is it down this pathway? Yeah, I don't know. I think she's delusional. I Who is this chick? Um, some. Journalist, I say in quotes. Oh, Name journalist. That explains a lot. And yeah, she's. I've seen her picture. She's she's your your typical feminist. It's pretty funny actually. Yeah. Oh, I found myself. Yeah, son. she's. She's just one. Blue hair dye away from perfect, because you know she's like overweight, pixie cut. Glasses. Yeah, she's just missing the color on face. her. Avoiding. She looks like unattractive Velma. <laughs> yeah, that's a good way to describe it, actually. The way that they look. Yeah, unattractive Velma. Specifically unattractive, because Velma is attractive. True. Like, In there's a way to anyway, do that right. Versions. Yeah, most versions. There's a way to do that right, where you actually look like an attractive woman, but they're like, no, I think I'll look ugly. <laughs> I would rather be ugly. I would rather be ugly on the inside and the outside. I need logs. Get the logs. Dude, Watch this. Watch this. Attack! Kill it! Rip its soul out! Yeah! Did you see that? Dude, that was epic. That's my sister. She's dead. <laughs> I'm happy for you. But she <laughs> she helps me out even if she's dead. It's cool. See? I don't know, man. I think I'm a... I think I'm one of those, like, children in the horror games. I'm like talking to ghosts, and I'm really creepy and pale. That's cool. I think that's my that's my character. Those people my always grow up to be hot. <laughs> You're not wrong, actually. Uh, so, before we talk about something else fun, we'll 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 go back to England for a second because they can't stop screwing up. So, the Church of England, uh, 
is has been kind of living on the edge of bankruptcy for a little while. First, firstly, because um, hold on, Try all our items are too close together, and I can't build those campfire. Okay, there we go. I need a bloody log. The demons! I tried to build it. It didn't. It didn't work. What the hell? The demons are coming. Oh no, bro! Damn. Ah. Oh my gosh! Watch out! Well, that was, that was really something. That was a bit stressful. Yeah. I don't know why I didn't build a campfire when I told it to. What was that? Oh, shoot. Dude, how do I restore my health? Eat food. I'm, I'm trying. Shove your mouth full of cooked food. Foods. Everything I have is cooked. It's not going up. My stomach's full, but my health is still like really low. Do you have insane in the membrane? Nope. I have a full stomach now. I Uh, I guess I won't go far. Just so I can figure out where I died. I'll just check my rabbit traps. <clears throat> so anyway. They've been doing really badly financially. Um, it's kind of a combination of two... of No, I would say three things. So... A would be the pandemic, because you know how in America they tried to shut down the churches and all that, and people weren't people were not really complacent. Some people were, but a lot of people were like, "That's that's a huge overstep. You can't do that." Yeah. Um. And. But you so think anyway, that would be it, like it wasn't church. Then. It, it wasn't. Uh, it did that did not really happen in England because they do not have as much, you know, uh, separation of, of church and state when it comes to Catholicism, which is so much fun. It's fun for you and fun for me, and. Um, the sec so that's the first thing would be pandemic. Second thing would be, you know, sexual revolution means less religious folk. Yeah. And then thirdly, it's people just plain being fed up with the Catholic Church and the way that they spend their money because they take all the tithe and instead of you know just using it to pay the staff or give to the poor, they build huge unnecessary cathedrals. <laughs> and yeah. So, you know, not very popular for that. Um, oh, the cathedrals are pretty impressive, though. Yeah, there, there's some nice, nice historic, there's some really nice historic ones that are cool to visit, but we don't really need more. This is the is the thing. No, probably not. Unless you're like putting it in an area where like you really need a church that looks really cool. Whatever that would be. I would say you do it if if, if you can like afford to do it and it's like within reason. Yeah. And you know, it's not your priority or something. Um right. so yeah, so they've been doing badly. For various reasons. And so what's their idea? Uh, well, obviously they need attention. They need to do something to get get people going. Do they 
send people out? Do they try and look back at the Bible and, you know, try and be more true to themselves and therefore, you know, more, more enticing for the reasons Christianity has been enticing? No, 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 no. And on the contrary, not for The answer is let's spend more money. Let's spend a hundred million for slavery reparations. <laughs> slavery reparations. Uh, what? Slavery reparations. Who are they? Who are they giving the money to? So they haven't said exactly where yet. They have this vague um, statement of like giving to like ethnic communities and ethnic events. It's it's a very vague statement. And of course it's unbelievably stupid because, you know, it's something that happened hundreds of years ago and no no one is alive to make reparations with and no one is alive to be responsible for it. Yeah. So, I mean, uh, that's pretty of dumb. Course, of course it's already ridiculous, but yeah, that's 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 the church's uh answer was, well, we'll just do more virtue <laughs> Let's like, you know, not do any of the things that churches normally do to to be enticing or just trying to be a good church or, you know, maybe be less of a communist empire. But no. Maybe. They're like, let's just show everybody how, mm, how virtuous we are with no real, with without it actually being a moral feat. You know, because they're not actually doing anything for anyone. No, not really. I mean... I mean, they might help. I mean, they might accidentally help some poor communities and yeah. still end up giving to the poor a bit. But, you know, other than that... Well, like, for example, a lot of the... A lot of the donations that were, like, BLM stuff... It got funneled into the most retarded projects and also retarded people behind said projects. And at the end of the day, like most of the donations that went on didn't really do anything except line the pockets of some black people who got ahead of the curve and they were like, yeah, exactly. BLM, give me money. They got so rich off of BLM, several people did, actually. Yeah. It's, uh... Yeah. I think you personally need to go out and, like, donate to people or charities or communities that you know it's gonna benefit, be beneficial, or donate your time, or donate, like, food. Like, that's how you're gonna actually help people, not tithe to a big mega, mega church, and then the mega church is, like, you know, deciding... <laughs> Let's Where do a pay raise goes. for our pastor. Right. <laughs> it's just... It's just not a good... It's not a good uh, way to put... Where to put your money. Yeah, it's and I mean, that that reminds me, actually. Um, gosh, you don't even have to be a mega church. Even big churches fall prey to this. But I, I yeah. didn't, I didn't want to say it to Jonathan, because I know he's already... He, he, like, refuses to to feel secure in anything, in any any place in life, and he just keeps telling himself that everything is a temporary stage, and, you know... Yeah, he's he, very indecisive. He can't just live his life for a while and not think about it. Like, he's, he's, he's constantly fretting over whether he's in the right place or not, so I, I didn't want to talk to him about it, because I didn't know if that was... if it would be constructive... But I I was at um, I was I was at Raymond on Sunday, and the 
uh, this is like my third or fourth time. I don't know. But I, I've been, you know, fairly unimpressed with the pastor there, but, you know, I've tried to yeah, give him the benefit of the doubt and, you know, right. visit a few more times because, you know, stuff happens. You have your, your problems. I know I've given... I've had lessons that are more shoddy than others. Right. Yeah, <laughs> I, th that I, I think that is, imp that is important to, like, you know... Not just go somewhere or listen to one thing one time and be like, okay, well, you're dumb, yeah. or this was terrible, so I'm just going to go with that one, one instance. Yeah, I, do I, I want to be reasonable, for sure. Right. And, uh... Oh, gosh, I, I've, I? I've just... So I've gotten to the point where I've I've listened to his sermons enough to decide that I'm just thoroughly unimpressed. Yeah. So, like, for instance, he came up with, um... To... To back up his claim, he came up with three verses from Hebrews 11. And they were just vaguely connected to the point he was trying to make. Just vaguely. Right. And, and just three little verses, you know. There's Hebrews 11 is a whole chapter. It's a whole chapter. And there's a whole Bible of, of verses he could have picked from, picked from and tried to find something that fit more. Um, You know, like if, if you're struggling to to back up your back yourself up, then you're probably wrong. <laughs> you're right. you're stretching. stretching yeah, you're a you're bit stretching there, yeah. it, and maybe that's not how one 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 should preach. No, yeah, you don't want to force something that's not there because it's disingenuous. Right, and so he. I mean, if you're doing it, like. And he, Without knowing you're doing it, that's one thing. But. And you know, when you preach, you wanna, you wanna preach the Bible, right? right. So you know, you wanna look at specific verses. You wanna go, you know, bit by bit. You know, have other passages to you know back that one up and all this. But but he keeps, you know, doing this thing where he gets. He gets, you know, two or three verses, and yes, there are some times where it's just been two, and then, um, and then just ranting about, ranting the whole time. <laughs> just not even, not even going back to the verses and saying, you know, you know, he's not going, for his conclusion, he's not going back to the verse and going, see, this is why I make this point, this is why this, you know. He just goes off with he's just He's just talking. He's just talking. And... You know, he's like... He's got a doctorate in... Um, theology, and everyone there calls him doctor with this great reverence. You, you could see it in their faces when they say it. Doctor. Right. And... Yes, yes, doctor. Which I think is so funny. So funny. It's a bit pompous. I don't know about that. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. And and so yeah. So I'm. I mean, you know, he should definitely know better. I don't know if he does. It doesn't necessarily mean that he does, but I would hope so. Uh, and his his house is is right next to the church. Not attached, but it's like okay. it's like across the road. You could see it. While, when you stand for the church, right? Yeah. And um, so you can you can basically get an idea of you know how much this guy pays because he gets paid because it, it, it's you know his driveway's full of convertible sports cars <laughs> and you know like vintage Volkswagens. Yeah. And and all this stuff and it was like so. 
It's you not know, the best look. You've got a doctorate in theology. You've got an entire week to come up with your ser service. You get paid <laughs> buttloads. And then... That was that was the, that was the best you could come up with was these three little verses from Hebrews 11. Like congratulations. Nah. Yeah, that is that is weird. <laughs> it's is just complacency, maybe. Um. Maybe a little bit. Yeah, it could he's be got a like so cool. used to. It could be a little bit of that. I don't know how long he's he's been there. But yeah. it, it, it's just like, you know, it's sad because it's like, I could do better than that. Like, I'm not super confident in my abilities, but... Right. You know, it especially hurt me because it was Hebrews 11, which, has, which I've referenced so many times that, you know, it's become a running gag. And I'm in a campfire, man. Oh, why did I do that? Fuck. Or pit. Damn. And Whatever, I need ashes anyway. Wait, what is that noise? I lose my minds. What's going on? Are you being... What is... <laughs> why is there demons reaching out for us? What's happening? It's like I, I I do better than that and sometimes I like cram and finish you know I do terrible procrastination that I really shouldn't do and I cram like an hour before I'm supposed to do it yeah and I can I can do better than that just yeah so I'm, I'm not bragging I'm just saying that like it's just not makes, much makes what he it's... makes his effort really really very sad Kind of like, what are you doing? Yeah, that's weird. I don't know. I don't know what you. I don't know what you do in that situation. I mean, I guess that's why you have boards, but like. Yeah, but it's it's. I, the people there don't 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 really seem to see it. As I said, they they obviously have a great reverence for this guy, and I mean, maybe you know, some of them know him personally, and that you know, has a lot to do with it. But still, it's... It's clear that nobody's saying anything. Yeah. And... Um, and and the proof is in the pudding, because... Let me tell you about about the, the purpose of his sermon. So he was, he was going on about... Trying to figure out where I'm going. Oh, shoot. I'm getting attacked. I think you're going in a little bit insane. You want my crown? My uh, no, I, I'm, I'm wearing a flower crown in my... Uh... My sanity is actually good right now. Show. Show, show. Dude, I've, I'm, I've got like this whole... I'm like a rabbit farmer now. I've got so many of these things. Oh, that's cool. This is great. Hey. How do you... How do you make the... Uh... I'm a crazy man. Um... What is it? Wait, how do you make charcoal? Uh... How does one make... Oh, I think... Wait, do you light... Do you light trees on fire? Is that how that works? Anyway, in, in, in the bulletin, there was this, um, there was this thing which was like a list of stuff that they needed volunteers for. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, this is, this is gonna get mentioned in the service, right? You kind of expect that. And I wasn't yeah. surprised because Jonathan had mentioned that they have volunteer issues and they have some volunteers that just do too much. And, uh, 
And so he was, he was going on in the service. He was like, you know, you, you need to be a risk. Why did I build that? What the, what am I doing? Anyway, um, he's like, you need to be a risk taker and God doesn't call you to be a failure. And I was like, wow, okay. But part of me was part of me was thinking, well, if you wanted to go risk taking, there were better passages. But okay, you know. Uh, yeah. And then he was like, you know, oh, you know, there's a little slip in your bulletin, and I'm like, okay, here we go. And he's like, you, you know, I'm I'm confident there's something that each of you can do on that list. So you you take that time. You 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 take that risk, you know. You use your time to to do this thing, and it was kind of like, well, I think you could do better than calling your congregation failures <laughs> and like trying to guilt them into it. And yeah, not the not the best angle to work off of. And it, 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 it's like <sighs> uh, I'm sorry, I was looking for grass. Um, yeah. And it's just like thing where it's like okay, so you're having troubles with you know, congregation volunteering and stuff. And it's like, well, whose fault is that? Like, if you're, if you're, you know, congregation is, you know, not getting involved and, you know, not on fire for the, for the Lord or whatever, then, then, you know, maybe that's because they've spent the last few, you know, However many years listening to your lazy sermons, you know. I mean, I know that doesn't entirely. Yeah. I know that that responsibility does not lie rely entirely on him, and you know, definitely it, it, doesn't help if you're not doing your job properly. It, it, you know, and and sometimes that's just your lot. You know, you know, maybe that's just the people you get, but but like. Yeah, if you're if you're really not if you're not really, you know, setting people's hearts on fire, then how do you ever expect to fix this problem? Or yeah. to be useful in any manner. No Not the bees Not the bees I didn't know that would kill me if I went near it. That bad. was disappointing. It's very disappointing. Yeah, unfortunately, with the pastoral roll, roll, sometimes you can be very complacent, and then the people that go there aren't very um, self, like, uh, they won't put your feet to the fire. They'll just be like really passive. They won't really think too much, and. Mm -hmm. So I think it's very healthy to have like a couple pastors kind of just going back and forth and being like, oh, well, you could have backed up your statement or you could have backed up your main message with this scripture and then be like, oh, that's a good idea. And you got to be you got to be open and not so defensive about that. And that's how you improve at anything, not just being a, a teacher, but you do have to have other people that keep you accountable um, and I think that's that's uh, very emphasized in what you and Jonathan are doing with uh, the adults group and all that stuff. And you also have you have me, uh, David, and Jensen, and and, mm -hmm. and others who also others that can you know tell us when we're off, yeah off track and we're we're doing it wrong. 
Right, and we're very upfront about it, and we're not gonna. And it's not very passive what we do, so. You know, it's very engaging back and forth type of stuff, so. You can get on the ground, like, in the moment feedback. Um, so it's very disconnected sometimes with what pastors do, so. It's very easy to slip into that type of mentality. <sighs> it is yeah. not good. It's very counterproductive, actually. Dude, I don't know how to get my stuff back without dying from the killer beehive. Just, just avoid the bees, man. But you just have to be diligent. Like, until the day you die, you need to be self reflective or perspective or whatever it's called. Yeah, and you gotta, you gotta, you gotta do your job. Yeah. I think the uh, the most important thing is not really it's not really the end result so much as the, the intention that you have put in. Yeah, yeah. Because you can be the best pastor in the world and then teach to a bunch of people that are like <laughs> yeah, it's not, they're just like, like disinterested. Like Jonathan talking about how, you know, most of his youth group don't want to be there. Yeah. Like, sometimes that's just... That's just that's the hand you're given. And yep. You have to be still the best you can be and try to help as many as you can. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, I just... Man... Just luke lukewarm churches are are, are really They're pretty annoying. You know, I, I don't want to like, you know, I don't mean to like judge them or anything or, you know, with my limited perspective. But I don't know. Just just makes you a little bit sad because you know it's a big church. Yeah. I mean, yeah, honestly, you know, I know a lot I of think, people there personally. Yeah, the smaller churches are it's actually like, well, this is all better at that type of yeah, thing. Yeah, this this is all you're getting on a weekly basis. It's not very good. No. It's not particularly healthy. That's why I like the adult groups so much. Yeah, that that's I don't something I told my. My mom during the pandemic, I was like, "This, this feels more like church than church than than church ever has." Because you know, right? I'm actually Sorry, on the ground. Just you know, I'm not discussing things. Because you know, even in, in in my home church, which you know, I I think has good teaching and all that. They're like, you know, they still have some weird stuff like gossiping is a big problem. And, uh, uh, you know, there's sort of like this weird, like, when it comes to the older folk, like, there's a weird disrespect of, of, of the younger folk, and your opinion's not really, you know, res respected and that sort of thing, and you're not, you're not talked to, like, like you're an adult. Yeah. And so it was nice to, like, you know... actually discuss things, you know, because, because, you know, Paul says that, you know, church is supposed to be this, this democracy where you hold each other accountable and you pass things by each other and all this stuff. Hmm. And, right. I mean, meatballs. It just seems to be a weird amount of churches where you, 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 you can't, you can't get that experience that you're supposed to have. It's, it's very oh, annoying. Yeah. Because, you know, I mean, even Soul Purpose has that problem a little bit where, yeah, I, I have connected with a lot of the, a lot of those people more, but, you know, you got a lot of those, you know, it's, it, it, it's one of those, like, super emotional churches. Oh, no. <laughs> You know what I mean? I don't like. Like, yeah, like you'll you'll be praying and you'll be like trying your best to like focus and you know, 
be a part of the prayer spiritually and you know agreeing in your mind with with what the you know pastor is praying and all, all all that stuff and being in accord but then there's someone behind you chanting going yes jesus yes jesus yes jesus yes jesus oh it's a come jesus and she do, she does it like every you know every every service and then get get people who uh you know can't get get through a sermon without bursting into tears every week and I mean, I, I get like, you know, being a sensitive person or having a religious experience, you know, I've seen that, I've seen that happen to, you know, people who, who aren't usually emotional, you know, like sometimes it's just, it just gets you. Um, yeah, but, but don't like, do ev it. Every, like every, ev every week, it's like, I think there's just something <laughs> wrong with you. Yeah, I think you need <laughs> a little bit therapy. Like, like you, yeah, you, you need a little bit of therapy. I get that. People are it's, it's like sometimes I, I just, a little too emotional. You know, if if that works for you, I'm 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 happy for you, and you can stand that and stuff. You know, the teaching at the church isn't bad. He's still but chasing you. I oh, I can't. You know, I can't I can't be bothered with that. It's it's too distracting. Oh my goodness! I like your yeah. ghost. That's pretty sick. I do too. Oh shoot, I, sh dope. I should stay over here. Dude, I'm making trail mix. Did you nice. pick one up? Put it on the floor. If you're hungry. If you want to cook any food, put it in the cooking pot. It makes it it makes it a lot better. Really? Okay. I just gave you all my logs. Oops. Um, thank you. <laughs> what are you doing? What is that? That was eight rabbits. Oh my gosh. Put, dude, dude, put it in the crock pot. It'll make, like, meat stew or something. I know. Something. It was in the dark, though, so I was... Can you put some logs on the campfire? Yep. Oh my gosh. I held it down a little too much. Good lord. That's fine though, I wanted to cook. Uh, they won't let me. Why is it saying that? That's weird. I think you might have some uh, people in your head. My sanity is good. How perplexing. Uh, I have one more thing for us to talk about, and then and then the rambling begins. Okay. So you might have heard about you might have heard about this, but um, although come to think of it, we have rambled quite a bit. So. This is true. I'm I'm I got like four hours of sleep la last night, and I've just been exhausted oh all day, gosh. so I've kind of allowed the rambling to happen. I haven't been reeling it in quite as often as I usually do, I apologize. Did you get, did you get four hours of sleep? It was, it, it was a whole thing. Sometime the night, sometimes the night is not very forgiving. Uh, so no, a, a, a man. A man has received a hundred years in prison for Why? many crimes, but including um, being black, putting his semen into a batch of cupcakes. And having his <laughs> elementary school teacher wife give them to the students. No. Yeah. No. These are the things that happen. I'm sorry. Sam, um, is nothing sacred? Our cupcakes not sacred. 
But she, she, um... But the reason they were arrested was not because of that. Um... I but know. because there was some sort of an, an anonymous tip that, uh... That something was, was... Some freaky was going on in their house. And... Something freaky, you say? Yeah, turns out they had raped a bunch of kids and oh! had taken pictures and, and videos and tried to hide all the paraphernalia in the attic. But what? when the house got raided, obviously the cops looked in the attic and found all of it. What what kids? Did they hide them under the floorboards or something? I don't know. Are they alive? The I don't know the details because there's, um, yes, because there's, like, uh, there's protection for that sort of thing. There's, like, an amenity thing for children, so there's only, only so much that we are, like, can know about it. But we know that they're alive. Yes. How do they just not come out sooner if, like, you rape a bunch of children? Like, how does that... How does it just um, look like? Like, oh yeah, we had, uh, you know, Timmy over for dinner. Well, there are lots, of, there are lots of tactics to lie to children and to get them to do things. Like, acting like they'll get in trouble if they talk about it. And you just have to get lucky uh, yeah. that you don't yeah. get, like... And you only do it like a, like a certain age, you know? Because yeah, there's that some that will be, you know, more or less... More and less gullible. So yeah, there, there's a whole strategy to it. I mean, we, we talked last time about... Um, about people swapping tactics on um, Mastodon. So, swapping tactics. Yes, swapping pedo tactics. Uh, so yeah, we keep coming back to Japan and they're freaky. But anyway, they only know this. about the the cupcake thing because the wife confessed to that and some other weird stuff. Man. And and weirdly, she only she only got forty years because she admitted stuff and helped them. Oh my gosh! Which which I think is a little nuts because she could like actually like potentially live to see the outside world. Of course, the female gets forty which, years. Which 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 I don't don't quite think is is right because. She was, you know, just as, just, complicit. just as complicit, and you know, she delivered the cupcakes, and she was part of all of the nonsense with the kidnappings. Yeah, I've said that very English nonsense. <laughs> It's such a mild way of, of, of putting such a horrible thing. All oh, that nonsense with the children. Oh, all that the... nonsery and the nonsense. Yeah, the nonsery. <laughs> we won't be having any of this nonsery, I say. No, no, no. No more pedophiles at my uh, educational school. You don't have that nonsense. Huh? What is that you say? Oh, dear. Stop with your nonsense! A hundred years for you. I mean, it's good that they are in prison. Yes. Is this in the U.S.? Um, I I think so. Uh, you start the fire. I'm gonna look at the article. Hold on. I don't have a log. Oh no. Oh, this is this is bad. This is bad. Uh, why do we never get this card? All right, I have a I have this. 
Okay, are you gonna light it? I don't have any fuel. I need to like go out and get some logs, I think. That'd be a good idea. Alright, you hold the torch, I'll chop the tree. Okay. If we can find a tree. Actually, this is a big one. We had 20 logs, and now we don't have any logs. It's sad. I'll, I'll make sure to do that once. Okay, we need to stock the up on logs. Next day. Oh, I broke the axe. Alright, let's go. <laughs> Although it's almost day now. Let there be light. I got 9% of a torch left. Might be just enough to save me later, who knows. Yeah. I crafted two straw rolls, actually. So we could have slept through the night, but I don't know if you need the campfire on or not. Mm. Yeah. Um, so, oh, oh yeah, I was looking at the article. I forgot about that. Uh, I'm assuming they're in the U.S., correct? I, I think so. Uh, I thought it was, but I could have been wrong about that. Blah, 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 blah. Yes, Louisiana. Louisiana. Uh, Dennis and Louisiana. Cynthia Perkins. Yep. That's... Sounds about right. Conspiracy to mingle harmful substances. That's <laughs> that's one way of putting it, I guess. That's a legal jargon. Oh my gosh, it's a boar. Legal jargon. It's kind of funny. Cider? What? Oh, my roasted berries went stale. Damn. I really gotta watch that. Oh. My sanity's slipping a little bit. Time to look for some flowers. Okay, so I remembered I do actually have one more article to go over. But I'm... I'm gonna wait till nighttime. Get that done. But it does kind of have to do with the last thing. So, kind of related. Da -da 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 -da. Going to bit some rabbits. Gonna eat the rabbits. Gonna eat them up so nice. Mm, rabbits. Oh shoot. The meat the ball. So many rabbits. Uh, holy crap. <laughs> Damn. 
dang. Got this whole pick up wet rabbit combination. Oh my goodness! Rabbit King instead of the Tiger King. Oh, I forgot to do something about my sanity. Oh gosh! Uh, Never. Fully re financially recover from this. Damn it! And then the rabbits turn into nightmare fuel. I hate that. How do they turn into nightmare fuel? When my sanity's too low, and I try to oh. pick up a rabbit, it turns into nightmare fuel. Stupid. <laughs> apologize to anyone who's watching this. You could probably skip like a minute in. <laughs> you, you could just go ahead and do that right now, safely, I think. Jeez, how many flowers do I have? I found... They can they can see the game now, right? Three. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, I fixed it. How did you fix it? Um, I just made it lock onto the program because it wasn't, it wasn't recognizing it as a game. Uh, was the big huh. issue. It's weird. I'm doing the whirly fan. The whirly fan. Where is our place of establishments? Oh, I can't see. I can't bloody see. I hear the bees! Not the bees! You live far going by chance. What? Oh, you did. Yes. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Dude, Abigail is like. flipping everyone's dip. Why is there a gigantic teddy bear? Fighting the it's fighting the shadows, set of creatures. What the heck? See this? Yes. <laughs> what is happening? It's alive. Dude, what the heck is going on? Bear's epic. Stop trying to. Hey, why are you? You're in my way. Just put the meat in the thing. No. And then cook it. Bam. I was trying. You're making it hard. Oh, you, you failed. I'm making meatballs. Well, I've got nuts. Good, man. Apparently the whirly wheel was not enough. I will go find some flowers. Because I ate all of my flowers. Don't eat the flowers. I know it was it was it was foolish. Yeah, you're not supposed to eat the flowers, man. Stupid idiot. 
Did you break cookie? Dude, I can't My find. Health is slow. Do you want some meatballs? <laughs> you want a meatball? Well, I'm gonna have to spend this whole day flower picking. Hey, the teddy bear stopped trying to kill me. Was he, wait, was, was he trying to kill you? I thought he was just killing the shadow guys. No. He was attacking you? I mean... He was trying to. I think he was just beating up all the shadow dudes. Looked like he was hitting you or trying to hit you. I could make log armor. I'm gonna do that. Log armor. I need one more rope. I'll make rope on it. This way. Can you make a backpack? Huh? Did you make a backpack? <laughs> it's very useful. No, I think it does sound useful. Oh, you've captured a rabbit. No, now I think, now that I, actually, no, the autumn biome should be fine to grow back stuff, right? I think so. So many tragic things have happened. <laughs> I, I I really thought I was gonna look up that article soon. I have just hey. one more thing. Jeez. That bee's just not coming for me. Yeah, Fight well, them, I Abigail. Fight for my honor. Abigail is my savior. Just attacks everything. It's great. <laughs> like none of the grass has grown. I don't know. It takes a while. It says it needs poop. Dude, what are you supposed to do when that freaking turkey pops up? Shoot it in the face. Alright, I'll try that. <laughs> With a gun. Garden hoe. I don't know what that does. Do I just hold the ground? What I? Hmm. 
What do I do with this hoe? <laughs> Till soil Close for crop like seeds. That. How do I till the soil? You need a hoe, right? I have a hoe. Soil do I till? I can make a log. I need more. Ah, I need more fiber. Meet the meet the So basically, in Chicago, um, the Chicago Public Schools Office of the Inspector General General released its uh, annual report, uh -huh. saying that out of that they um, substantiated uh, more than seventy sex sexual misconduct alle allegations. From of teachers diddling students. Oh my gosh! Kind of a lot, I think. <laughs> Over I the past know, I like don't, I don't know year or yes, I said annual. Uh, Seventy substantiated claims sexual abuse. In a one year, that is concerning. Right, and but 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 get this. So it seems like a weird number of times um, the teacher is acquitted. For instance, there's one where they uh, where where a teacher groomed and sexually assaulted a 17 year old student three times. And even though the student had texts from the teacher, the teacher was still acquitted. Um, what? And there's another one where they, where JROTC staff member was grooming a 16-year-old girl, gave them alcohol and marijuana, Bruh. and more texts that say stuff like, you know, I'm ready to do it right now. I'm not going to be gentle. Blah, blah, blah. blah. And then still you. got acquitted. So are they paying them off? Or are they getting like... How does that work? How do you get acquitted dude, when you dude, have like... I, I, I have no idea. Um, I'm assuming it has something to do what with... What is acquitted? I need to look... I don't even know what that means. It means they... They were um, found <laughs> not guilty. They're free to go. They were uninterested to be prosecuted. Yeah. But I mean, you've got like, like sure you've got a judge, but you've also got like a whole jury. So I, I don't know. There's just something. There's something seriously wrong going on in Chicago right now. I I, I would say everybody's a pedo or something. <laughs> like ah. 
So that kind of went with, all the, the time. went with the last thing, you know. First we were talking about, you know, the strange amount of gay teachers, and then all of the grooming going on, and then here we see it. Yeah, that I love how the numbers love add how up. This it's entire true. stream has just been bashing the the education system. Yeah, for being pedophiles. Uh, pretty much. Yeah, that's been the the week's news. I mean, I didn't I didn't choose it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want I it to go be out this my way. way. I didn't go out of my way to find these stories, you know. It just kind of happened. That's just how it's been. And it's it's bad, you know. Yeah, it's that's real, not nice. Lots of evidence for how this. Uh, the sex education stuff. Educational system. Mm -hmm. It's just like, you know. It's breeding bad behavior. You, you know, obviously, you know, and it, well, it's, it's not just that. I mean, the public school system has been awful for so, so long. And so it's, it's clear that there needs to be reparations. There needs to be more, you know checks and balances and the annoying thing is I'm really not you know <laughs> I'm really not for government overreach in public schools since obviously they just you know try to set up well, their their mind control but at the same time it's like something needs to be, be done it's it's clear that these teachers are going you know Willy nilly with their willies, <laughs> and we just we just can't have that. We just can't have it. Well, I mean, public schools are inherently going to be somewhat controlled by your county or your state government or something like that overseeing yeah, it, it all. Yeah, it's true to a certain extent. So it's it's really just like, how do you want them? To control the schools and, and I, yeah, and I've just seen a, an absurd amount of these um, you know parent meetings with the board where you know it's just a yelling match and they're trying to silence people and there's obviously yeah. all these assholes sitting up at the at the board making terrible decisions <laughs> like. Stop being so irate. We're only, you know, being horrible managers. They're like, we we don't want to protect your children. You shut up right now, or we're gonna <laughs> cut your mic off. So it's like, man, something, something needs to be done about that nonsense. Obviously. Oh hello. I love how neither of us are near the camp at all. Yeah, we're doing a little bit of a stupid. Shoot, I don't have enough. I'm making a torch. Rash. I can't make. Oh, admit it. There you go. I know we have two torches. Well, mine's almost dead. I really need to build another one. Yep, there it goes. Follow me. Also, my go provide or my ghost provides a little light. Nice. Your ghost friend is kind of happy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude, what are you what? doing? What? I gave you all my logs. Gosh dang it. You put the logs in. Do it. Hurry up. Do it now! They're coming! They're coming for the fire! Stack the hands. Somehow. I need to collect more flowers. How are you going so insane, man? Dude, I don't know. She's like, really fragile. 
psychotic. She's prone to being psychotic. I guess. Perhaps. My freaking logs, man. So yeah, I mean, there you go. I mean, we just kind of talked about uh, UK immigration problems and pedo stuff in schools. That was... Yeah, back, back. Ticket, 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 ticket. Ticket to backpack, ticket to backpack. That's the the news of the week. I, I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> the news of the week. There's pedophiles in your schools. <laughs> yep, just in case you and didn't know. And also Europe is being taken over. You're welcome. Yep. Diversity is not our strength. Turns out. Definitely. Definitely not. Take the backpack, you melon. I mean, you look at the percentages, even America, the most, you know, diverse country in the world. Still not that diverse. Yeah, it's not that diverse, but, I mean, the foundation of our, our country is not dependent on specifically ethnicity more more cultural and ideals yeah we, we we benefit from from learning I guess is what I would say not necessarily from adopting does that make sense yes I think that makes uh -huh. sense actually that was kind of profound I'm proud of myself. <laughs> I can't believe I actually made it, managed to say that at like one in the morning. The philosopher's stone. There's, there's hope for me yet. Might actually manage to be a good commentator one day. Sleep your five commentator. need to drop something but I want all of my things Damn. maybe you should have equipped the backpack that I made you what you made me a backpack yeah I should take your backpack and you listen aww thank you I will equip it when I'm done harvesting rabbits <laughs> I am harvesting an awful lot of rabbits Crazy. Crazy. You know, David would like this game. But if we played it with him, he would probably be like, We should do this in real life. <laughs> we need to go outside right now, guys. We have to go out there. We have to hunter-gather. We have to be freezing cold in the elements. Uncomfortable. Honey nuggets. Bruh. Bruh, I made honey nuggets. Nice. That is so epic. Yeah, I mean, I think, um, I think this is on the Switch. It's probably the only gaming console that he's gonna have, so. I mean, I bet it would run pretty well. It's fairly simple. But yeah, I mean, they, I'm pretty sure they have it on the, the App Store.
Okay, I'm on my way back and I'm looking for flowers. Oh! So, so if you sleep in a bedroll, you heal. Interesting. Interesting. And your mental stability goes up. Well, that makes sense. I think we're just retarded. <laughs> We've just been messing up this whole time, making flower crowns every other day. And not just like sleeping. You know what? Man. That's a good reflection of <laughs> what we're doing right now. Yeah. See, my mental is going to be bad tomorrow, and I'm gonna be like, well. <laughs> Why is my why would, mental stability still low? Why was I playing low? video oh, games <laughs> instead of sleeping? What was I doing? Oh wait, it's not reusable though. I need to make another one for you. Where the? F where's the beds? Where they are. Dude, I got 14 rabbits. That's awesome. Do you have a log by chance? Oh, yep. Uh. I should be able to make Backpack. a bed. Thanks. No problem. It gives you eight slots. More. That's a spicy meatball. This is spicy. Bro, where are the beds at, man? How did I crap the bedroll? Is it tools? No. Here it is. I need a rope and two more fiber. Do you have fiber? Or cut grass, I mean? Yes, what do you mean? Give me cut grass and I will make you a bedroll. There, I had six. Alright, here you go. Sleep in this. Oh gosh dang. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember what we were talking about. I said something profound and then and then I completely forgot it. That's kind of hilarious. Mind wipe. Actually. Something ironic about that. Mind wipe. Give me food for me. You're gonna eat all the rabbits yourself. <laughs> I mean, you wanna take this one, go ahead. I don't wanna wait for it to finish. Thank you. Um, yeah, I mean. Adoption. Yeah, Who wants yeah, it? Uh, <laughs> we need to learn from other cultures, not necessarily adopt the culture. Yeah. Because, cause, I mean, that's... I, I was trying to explain this to someone. Um, it's kind of why... Like, picking and choosing is why America's kind of the best. Right? Right. Picks the best from we, all the we, different you know, We set, our, set up our government based on, like, Christian morals and values. Um, and, you know, we have the most attractive people because we have all the best genes from the various races. So true. And, you know, there's, there, there's, there's, I mean, there's lots of stuff like that that you could say. Also, we have the, we have the, uh, most obese population 
We do, because we have the best. Because <laughs> we're so rich. Because we have the best food and best economy. That's true. Um, so yeah, I, I, we, we definitely want to look at Europe as a cautionary tale and make sure we don't get taken over by the woke agenda <laughs> yeah taken over so we don't have our culture deleted by uh raped metaphorically by yeah by a bunch of by islam by metaphorical islamists by people who like to Ray <laughs> don't at all have the don't have the same virtues at all. Oh uh, yeah. And definitely don't have uh American interests at heart. Yeah. I don't think America knows what their interests are anymore, though. No, because they're just... I mean, the, the people of our, of, of, you know, our generation, you and I, they just, they just don't, uh, they don't understand. You know, they take everything for granted. They don't know what it's like outside America, you know? Yeah. You know, you you gotta you, you know, you can't trust people. You gotta you gotta screen immigrants. You can't just. Not everyone wants to be your friend. You can't just let anyone nope. in. And it, it and it's just I mean that kind of shows you the the mental state they're in because it's like you <laughs> you shouldn't have to say that. It shouldn't have to be said. That's like should be common sense. Yeah, yes. it's common. It's 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 common sense that you can't trust people. That not everything about a culture is going to be good. That you know, letting people who are illegal stick around will just cause your you know crime That's to go crazy problems. and. You know, if you let people cross your border, all you're going to get is drug and human trafficking. Like, that should be, that should be like a duh. But now they're like, ah, oh, racism, conspiracy theory, xenophobia, anti-immigration, or none of those things. We're just reasonable. <laughs> reasonable you know, guy. Just, just trying to apply a little, a little logic, if I may. You know what I mean? Like it's just, it's so, it, 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 it's so hard to wrap your brain around. It's so hard. It's just, how do you think like that? How? How do you get like that? Because I mean like. You're stupid because you don't cause think. Yeah, I mean there, there's, you know, sure there's brainwashing and you know. You could be parented wrong and going through the public school system. You know, like all of these things together can, you know, make for a... A uh, hey, little nap. Kind of a... Nappy time. You know... Uh, bad experience, you know, can create someone who's radicalized and feeding into Lots the... Lots of trauma. The feeding into the, you know, low mental health because your negative... Your, your outlook is so negative because you're being taught to victimize yourself, you know. Like, I, under, I understand uh -huh. that, but... But at the same time, like, gosh, there has to be a point where you start to see the holes. You know, there's Whoa. gotta be point where you start to think for yourself and you wake up like even 
Because cause I do that with even things that, you know, I know that are good. You know, like, even though I was, you know, raised in a Christian household, I, I hit a point where I, I wasn't sure of it. Yeah. And, you know, I need to think through it and discover it for myself. Oh, man. Right. I got too hungry. Woke up. <laughs> Typical. Typical nonsense. When? So it's just, it's just, it, it's like, it's like they don't want it for some reason. They don't want to believe. It's like, you not believe? it's, it's, it's the opposite of, of Mulder from the X-Files. <laughs> I just don't want to believe. Yeah, I mean, I, I... It's funny, you know, I do joke about it, but at the same time, you know, I do understand the character. You know, I... I, I want to believe in a... higher purpose, and... I want to believe in, you know, aliens and yeah. life beyond Earth and all this, this this stuff. So it's like, why, why don't they want to believe? Why, you know, because playing the victim and being mean to people is easy, I guess. You know, being yeah. mean, being mean is easier than being nice. And if if you can find a way to play the victim and have an excuse to be mean to people, then you will, I suppose. I mean, that's path of least resistance. Uh, it's just, I mean, that's essentially my best guess. I mean, otherwise, it just doesn't make sense to me. You know, it's nuts. It's Well, I mean the good news is like the the older you get, the more likely you are to be conservative, so <laughs> it's true. Cuz of so, you the know the mentality just just changes over time. Yeah, because of experience. Yeah. If if you weren't born with or weren't taught common sense well you learn it with time you'll get it and experience yeah. you you get it eventually whether you like or you'll it or be not. delusional you know yeah or you'll be delusional there's occasionally <laughs> I mean a lot of this stuff stems from mental health problems and the way that the the I don't like to call them that it's kind of overdone but the woke mob they obviously prey on the Mentally feeble, I guess you could say. Yeah. That seems like a weird, outdated way of saying it, but you get what I mean. They're targeting a very specific group of impressionable people, which is why they want to lower the voting age and all that. Yeah. I, I think they should raise the voting age, honestly. I would, think, I would agree with that. <laughs> uh, yes. Because, I mean, I mean, thankfully, I... You know, I don't have any... I don't have any, uh... Elections that I regret. You know, voting through when I was younger. Mm -hmm. But... I can, rec I can recognize how I was stupid. And I could have... Easily been swayed. I mean, there was even right. a point where I called my, where I like really foolishly called myself a feminist and would tell other people that, and I cringe thinking <laughs> about it, honestly. Yeah, I'm a feminist. Because I, I thought it was just like you know, like advocating for being nice to women. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I mean, was like, it kind of yeah. started out like that. I was like, yeah, of course, bit. duh. I'm totally a feminist. And that was Dead. that was not quite it. 
there was there's mu there was much more agenda that came with it and there was an awful lot of man hating that occurred yeah so so i mean it it just yeah i it, you're at a point in your life where you have no no life experience you know because like i knew how american government worked and everything and well actually i probably knew it better than than I do now, because, you know, fresh out of school. Um, but even then, I just, you know, I didn't know how to vote on issues. I didn't understand. And if, if, you know, I had a decent kind of view of candidates, but I didn't know... Like, how to vote on local issues and that kind of thing. Right. Because, you know, no concept of finances or how it would affect me personally or, you know, affect long-time future stuff. And, and yeah, you know, the, adult stuff. <laughs> the, the libs are very good at, you know, wording stuff where it sounds nice. And I've seen that a lot in, you know, the research I've been doing for these streams. Is uh. is is how good they are at twisting the language, you know? And I, I find there are some articles where I have to read it more than once because I get confused. Yeah, they love confusing because I'm because because they're saying something very wrong, but with this great like upbeat emotion that's very effective. And so I I just kind of I kind of go like, wait, what's going on? What? You know, I feel like I misread something. But when you're when you're younger and you don't understand, you'll be like, "Oh boy, that's a good thing." Oh, fantastic! <laughs> that sounds like sounds that great. sounds great. Let's do a little bit of that. <laughs> Let's tax the tax the rich. Tax the rich. I can't say things. Tax the rich. Yeah, tax the rich. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah. It'll solve our problems. Yeah, they they don't pay their share at all. What are you talking about? Only more than half. Uh, yeah. See, so yeah, I I definitely think it should be should be raised because even me, who was thankfully raised with common sense, was prone to stupid. Still, still impressionable. Very impressionable. And, you know, I have no doubt that's why they want to lower it. Yeah, that's just, that's just inherent with younger people. It's just naturally going to be naive. And I mean, that, that was what happens when uh, the last local election happened, and I was looking at the polling numbers, was, you know, we had all the 30 to 40-year-olds voted Republican. Yeah. You know, it was all the freaking 20-year-olds who ruined it for us. Uh, oh my gosh. Oh, kill him, kill him. They were like, you know, gas prices are literally the worst they've ever been around here. But... <laughs> Let's 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 elect the people with useless spending policies. That sounds good. That sounds alright. Where are these? Where are these wolves coming from? Dash of rutabaga. Can you eat this internal I don't have no eternal fruitcake? I'm opening something. Pants! Pants. I just put pants on. Oh my gosh. Pants. 
in that crock pot. What noise. I got stuff to do. Gardening. You know, it's a good thing we figured out sleep because I have not been finding a decent amount of flowers at all. Mm. Yeah. Mm. It makes it more like permanent beds if, if possible, though. Yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> I was seriously glitching out there. I had some kind of a connection issue. It's kind of lame. Dude, like only a quarter of my family is home and nobody's using the internet at this hour. And yet I'm having problems. I think it's because I'm the host. <laughs> you suck! I'm using my phone. I'm using my phone. Wow. It does, it does pretty good for the most part, but it does kind of... <gasps> did I just make lasagna? I did. Cool. Monster lasagna. How did you do that? What'd you use? I use three of the uh, monster meat and one. Uh, what is it? It's not, it's not a coconut, but it looks like a coconut. You get it from like the trees. Hmm. Everyone's called but yeah. Oh, you mean pine cones? No, not pine cones. It's uh, something else. These grow. I'm just planting random seeds. I think they might need some water. Hold on, let me make a. Need two wood and a rope. Uh, I need more logs. Need a axe. Yes! The spoils are good tonight, baby. Yeah. Trying to beat my record. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Dude, there's this one that like never goes off and it's like a little out of the way and it's starting to annoy me. Dude, my flower petals went bad and now I'm back to a freaking network of net worth of two. I didn't beat my record. Up rot. That's not what rot is. I'm actually like Sp spoiled wet goop. Literally one that? rabbit under my record. That's rough. So close, yet so far. 
Oh shoot. Oh, uh, liberal. Run. Run in. Where's the base? Demons. The demons are coming. Oh no. I can't see nothing. Oh, no, uh. you died. I uh. keep I keep not looking at the time. So stupid. Anyway. Well, we can keep playing, but uh, never mind, never mind. I'm, 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 I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop the stream in a minute and a half. It's gonna happen. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, hold, hold on to the last of this stream. Cherish it. Cherish Very it for all it's worth. Because this. This is the end, folks. This, this is all you're gonna get. We've run out of subjects. We're not even we're not even rambling anymore because I am at maximum uh, fatigue. Brain fatigue. Yeah. I'm dead. What is a pangol? Are they dangerous? Do they want to fight me? What? <laughs> what? What the hell is a pangol? A pangol. Yes, they jumped out of the water and they're all going. Wah, 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 wah. They sound friendly to me. Dude, you died right next to the camp. That's I, hilarious. I was, I was trying to find the campfire to light, and I just I could not do it. Oh my gosh, dude! I I see what you're talking about. I think they're m migrating. <laughs> Good for them. I'm, I'm, I'm happy for them, actually. Gosh, you think I'd know and my way by now? A lot of like stuff over here. This grass area. Oh, one minute, ladies and gentlemen. One minute. One minute. One minute. Pango. Happy New Year. Wait, what? what? Happy New Year! I'm so hungry. I don't mean in the game, I mean, I mean that literally. I just... Eat some snacks. I need some snacks. Are you by the base? I ran out of snacks. Nope. I'm, I'm a little bit under you, I could see your token. Where's the base? You can see it on the map. My map got erased when I died. Oh, I'll lead you back there. Hold on. I just need to get a few... Oh. We can get water from these, right? Well, that'll be good if we do that. Follow me this way. Or you'll lose me. I'm just getting rabbits right now, but we're actually walking in the opposite direction. Alright. Oh no, it looks like I'm not going to beat my record. Oh no. Dude, it takes me so long to gather all these rabbits that I, like, never have the time to continue to expand. You need that many rabbits. Like, my rabbit empire has become so vast 
that, like, I need Why, to... why do you need so many rabbits? For eating. Are you that hungry? No, I mean, it just... I mean, I'm, I'm surviving rather well because of it. <laughs> just plump. Just because I'm... I've got so many, so many, you know? Full of rabbits in my stomach. Why am I awesome. freezing? Converting. I guess I could put down more traps. I should probably lead you back to the base, though. Uh. Ew, what the heck? I don't trust them. You're untrustworthy. Oh wait, let me, let me. Oh shoot. I missed, I missed the last minute by a whole minute. Damn. I can't believe you've done this. I did that to myself. I don't know where I want to end it now. This is, this is some extra premium content is what this is. Suicide. Premium content. Oh. A little bit of extra, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, the best. Let's see, we're back. Content in the world. Hey. hey. <gasps> I also want to put some. That's all I got is rabbit. I was like, I'm gonna throw something else in there, but I don't have anything else. Ah, uh, yeah. Bedrolls. Uh, we are at four minutes and forty. S uh, I mean, not four minutes. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so tired. Four hours and forty-seven minutes. Where should it stop? Do you think? How do I split a stack? Oh well. I should have stopped it at four twenty. I don't even need to sleep, but what, I'm what is sleeping. A, what is a bed under? Healing the little heart. You can just take this one. I don't. I don't need it. I was just wondering for future. It's like notice. the heart icon. Oh. Oh, look at the little flower. Forget me, lots. Why is everything red anyway? I don't know, it's a bit concerning. I asked and then it went away. That made me feel stupid. Wait, can you use this? The Abigail? you summon your own Abigail? <laughs> I guess not. No, I can't use it. Got so much meat! Yeah! I'm gonna survive meat. forever and ever! I thought there would be achievements for this game. Is there not? There is not. What? That's weird. Are you sure? Yep. Huh. Maybe it's only for the, like, base, base first game. A normal don't starve game, and then for some reason they have like a off, off branch. I want to eat your meatballs. You ate my meatballs. You 
be scrumptious. Why are you ending the stream? <laughs> uh, I don't. I can talk to the plant. I wasn't out of snacks. This, this is a tortured existence. This is I think it's gonna become winter and then we're gonna be kinda screwed. <laughs> <laughs> gonna get really cold and die. I'll make sure to end the stream before we fail miserably. <laughs> Actually dying from freezing. How do I undo it? How do I not die of freezing? Uh, build a campfire. Maybe? Yep, that works. Nutsy from that though. If anyone has been dedicated enough to listen this far on, I'm, I'm impressed. I'm really impressed. <laughs> they should give you something, like a cookie or whatever. So, um, bye then, I guess. Dude, do a do a comment thing. What? What do you mean a comment thing? <laughs> if you've made it this far into the live stream, comment below. Uh. Rutabaga. Nah. 